It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and this week's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile, and it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Yo. Andrew Schultz is here. No, let's let's do a little bravo, man. Herman is here. Wax God. is here. Yeah. Charlamagne oh. the God is a daddy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Girl yeah, dad. Man. Girl Number dad. Four. Girl dad. You know what's so crazy? I wasn't um, I was waiting. I didn't want to know what the the gender was, right? We knew what it was. <sighs> <laughs> I, 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 in the back of my mind, I knew what it was. Yeah, because you know you had your shoes off. I didn't even Get think about it. The crazy off. part is because I wasn't, you know, this wasn't, a, none of the children were actually planned. But you know, the the, the fourth child, we I thought we was done after three. I was yeah. cool. You know, like after, um, after we had our third daughter, the very next year, we did go to the in vitro place. Cause I was like, I gotta rig this thing. You know what I'm saying? If I want a boy, <laughs> if I want a boy, I gotta fix this fight. You know. But then I was talking to my mom, and my mom was like, she just didn't agree with the whole, you know, creating the whole gender thing, right? And I was like, you know what? You're right. If it's meant to me, meant for me to have another baby, I'll have another baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. A couple years later, during COVID, ain't nothing to do. We just sitting around high all the time, yeah. having sex all the time. Yeah, yeah. Come find out February, you know, wife is pregnant. All right, cool. I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to know what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> just wait. Because I think about February came. I think she might have been like a month, two months already. I'm like, we just wait. September comes. We see what happens. So that's what happened. And you know, up until that last moment, the doctor blew it at the last, last moment. Wow, well, what happened? Because yeah. as, as the baby was coming out, the doctor just said, um... Get her out of there or something like that. Like something to that effect. And I was like, oh. her. Oh. <laughs> you don't know how she identified. <laughs> I'm like, her? You sure? I'm like, her? I'm like, maybe she that was just a Freudian yeah, yeah, slip. Yeah, maybe yeah. they're trying to throw me off. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, nope. Here comes another beautiful baby girl. I'm like, well, hey man, I produce queens. What can I say? Okay. You know what I mean? What yeah. can I say? I like it though. I'm happy. You know what I mean? I'm happy that, you know, I got a healthy baby girl. I'm healthy yeah, that my consistent. wife. Had a beautiful, you know, pregnancy, you know, with the way the black maternal death rate is set up. She's still bless, here. Bless, mm. yeah, so bless. I'm just, you know, I'm just happy. You know what I mean? Just happy to have another baby. Healthy I didn't see that at this it. point in my life, but that's life, yeah. right? You don't know what to expect in life. You don't, you can't predict any of this. Like, it's all just. You can, though. Like, if you have sex you? unprotected and you leave it in, like, you can predict it. To but you don't really reason. think about that when you're married. No. 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 Not after having three. I never thought, y'all, I've never thought about it. You thought you stopped working or she stopped working? I just never, I didn't even think about it. I, I'm not, it, like, it never crossed my mind. You know what I mean? Like, it never crossed my mind, like, oh, you know, because by the way, I don't care. <laughs> if, I, this, if I eat this sandwich, I might have to take a shit later. That, that maybe, might have it. But at, at this point in my life, I care only because, you know, we both getting up in age. So it's like, ah, yeah, now I might have to get that harder. snip snip. Oh. I might have to get Yo, the snip snip. Yo, my boy just man. did that, man. Really? He just did it, like, literally a couple of days ago. And I'm like, how is it? But I got, I want, I want 30 kids. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep on going. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah but also, it doesn't work though. What do you mean? That's selfish. The snip snip doesn't work. What do you mean? It's not 100%. Antonio Cromartie had two kids. Yeah, and he, had, and, he, and he had like 13, but he got a different type of sperm. He's not a good example. <laughs> Look to Antonio Cromartie. Antonio Cromartie, I think, how, how many kids he got? Look that up, somebody. 17 kids, two after <laughs> the uh, vasectomy. That's what I'm saying. Like wow. his, his, his sperm will not be denied. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's just a special human and he's just one of those people that's, Meant to breed, yeah. You know what I mean. So his 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 is a little different, but yeah, I think it's very it is selfish though, because it's really up to the woman. Like you know, my 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 wife's easiest pregnancy was definitely the first one. Second one was emergency C section. Third, you know, second and gestational diabetes. The second one, third was when we went to the hospital and they didn't have no epidural, so she had to give a natural birth. And they fourth, were just out of epidurals. They didn't have no epidurals. <sighs> They just, they literally didn't have no epidural. Like it was, it was the strangest thing ever. But I mean, that's what black women complain about when they go to the hospital. Yeah. Like that, you know, they, people look at black women and it's like, oh, they're just 
strong, strong, and it can take pain. It was like so. It's no sense of urgency. You uh, know what I mean? Uh, Carla says she did not want the epidural until it was time that she wanted it, and they said it was too late. She looked at me. I was like. We got to do this. Oh, she did a natural one too? Yeah, she did a natural wow. one. Wow. Nothing. Wow. My mom with me had planned to do a natural birth. I was a big baby. I was like over 10 pounds. What? Yeah. The fuck? And uh, <laughs> don't play around over here, baby. <laughs> My brother too. We big yeah. fucking babies. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 10 pounds. Yeah, 10 pounds, 10 full pounds head of monster. hair. Like it looked like my parents left me. Like, you know, when you're in the room with all the other babies, yeah, 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 like yeah. all the other babies were like bald. I had a full like, yeah. like what is his name? Don King. Like, for a Afro. Weeks. They look like they just left me in the room. Yo. Like nobody collected. Nobody's going to come get this one. Yeah. <laughs> I had fucking braces on and shit. Like I was fucking old in there. right? So and apparently like my mom was going through the birth and uh, and uh, they were planning on doing a natural. And my dad was trying to like coach her through it. <laughs> and my dad, you know, dudes, you like, we use shit that like applies to our lives because we can't imagine what a baby is, right? Yeah. So my dad was like, it's okay, Sandra. It's just like a marathon. You got to push through. It's like a marathon. <laughs> and then my mom just looks, <laughs> looks at my dad and he goes, Fuck the marathon, Lonnie! <laughs> Get me the drugs! <laughs> yeah, we could never, ever imagine what women go Not through. Not even no close. And like, and, and like, what's crazy is my adrenaline is still up here from last Monday. Because really? it happened last Monday. Like, yeah, And, you bless. know, we had a duelist salute to Latham Thomas, Glow Maven. Du uh, Latham helped us get through the last two pregnancies. Because, you know, after she, you have a C-section, they tell you that you got to continue to have C-section. C they just yeah, basically yeah. put a zipper on your stomach. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but really but Latham up. was like, no, that's not the case. So Latham, uh. like, you know, coached her through the third one, had her doing, like, a lot of different things, different techniques, taking different vitamins, all types of stuff, uh -huh. you know what I mean, to help uh -huh. her have a vaginal birth. Fourth, she had, a, she had a vaginal birth with this one, too, but it's like the fourth one, it happened so fast. So she started having, uh, Sunday was the due date, but the baby didn't come Sunday, so they was like, okay, we'll probably induce tomorrow. Uh -huh. Latham was like, nope. She sent the acupuncturist over. They did acupuncture. Then she had her drinking, like, taking some vitamins and something else around 2 o'clock that morning. She started having contractions. Wow. I'm sleeping through it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Go do the radio show. You know, I see Latham's over there. They sitting on the couch, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, so when, we, when should we start going to the hospital? Because in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't want things to happen way. here. Yeah, you know I what I mean? The same and way. my wife was like, oh, we just ain't no movie. This is not no TV show. It's not going to... I'm gonna get contractions and start having them, they're having a the baby immediately. I'm like, I don't know. But either yeah, way, I don't wanna be responsible. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So around nine o'clock that morning, water breaks. And it's mm -hmm. like from that moment on, you're like this. Yes. Because you gotta grab the suitcase, run to the car, mm -hmm. put the suitcase in the car. Zoom into the Yeah, that's right. Make sure, yeah. you know, she's in the back and you know, my wife goes, drive like me. <laughs> she she goes, go, drive like me. What does that mean? Because he can't drive. I don't drive like that. I'm a, I'm a very Slow. safe driver. Slow. Oh. Drive Mr. Daisy. I'm a very defensive driver. I'm not on offense. I hate people that hitting the gas. And like, what, 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 you're going to rush to die? Charlie like, this is cool. Just rolling. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and so she's like, drive like me. I'm like, no. Right? So, <laughs> so, so I say that, but I'm just like, I'm not definitely not driving like her. Because the last thing we need is to get pulled over. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going to drive understand. slow and steady. Nice little 70 miles per hour. And it was early morning. So there was still mm. a little bit of traffic there we had to get through. But, you know, we got there safe. And, you know, once you get there, everybody at the hospital, even though you would think that they do this a million times, it's always like the people in the front who are just like sometimes the most clueless. Mm. You pull up. I need a wheelchair. How the fuck can nobody find a wheelchair at the hospital? You know yeah. what I mean? One guy's like, oh, it's over here. Other guy's like, it's over here. It's over there. Finally, they get the wheelchair. Boom, get in the wheelchair. Then we get there. The receptionist is like, hold on, I got to call somebody on the way up. What the fuck you mean you got to call somebody? Yeah, yeah, like, and you know, and I'm trying there. to explain it to her in a calm way. That's why the duel is so great. Because I'm just an aggressive human yeah. who's just like, I'm seeing my wife in pain. So I'm yes. trying not to be extra. But the duel is like, look, this is her fourth child. Things are happening fast. She needs to start pushing soon. And then they, you know, we finally get up there, everything's situated, and thank God we got a nice, healthy human on this planet. You know what I mean? Fourth child, man. Fourth girl got need more guns. That's all. That's it. That's all. So you think it's a wrap? This is the last one? Oh, I'm done. Snip? I'm I'm done. I, I mean You I, or her? Me. Cause you I mean, she don't, her. yeah, she don't need to go through no more surgeries yeah. or nothing like that. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Cause you gotta go all up in there and 
You know? It's quite easy, the surgery, though. Like, oh, you're in and up. out. No, he is. My, my no, boy no, said it. Oh, you, oh, you mean arsenic? For you, yeah. yeah. Like, oh. You could play basketball. I thought you were about to tell us. I know how to tie no, tubes. I could tie girls' no, tubes, like though. He, he, no, he, he said, <laughs> I could do that. He said 48 hours. He said, chill out for 48 hours or you're going to be in trouble. My cousin got it that morning, played in, like, a hockey game that night. Really? Yeah, I don't have 48 I've hours. I've seen white people running the fucking cold in New York. That's so also possible. a way. That's also a way. Okay? <laughs> Freeze your eggs. All right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm going to tell you something. You know what I loved? I got a lot of work done in the maternity ward, yo. Oh, yeah. Because you're just sitting there, right? Yeah, doing nothing. But it's something about the maternity ward. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm at, because of the place I'm at in my life. Mm. It's like watching new birth come into the world. And then, like, sitting at the window and watching all those babies in the maternity yeah. ward, mm -hmm. it gives you a new sense of, like, hope. Mm. Like, like, like the circle of life never stops. Mm. So no matter how old you are or what may be coming to an end in your life, it's all of these new beginnings. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it just, I don't know, it just made me, I, I was sitting in there for, like, 48 hours just writing all types of different stuff. Like, it just... It just had my creative juices flowing in a in a yeah. in a real way. I was you know? I was looking for the yeah. mean nurse, like the nurse that you know that looked like the mama that um, get off the train. That face, I was okay. looking for the mean nurse because I I don't know. I was thinking somebody was gonna try to get my kid or do something. To oh my no, yeah, kid. that's the paranoia. Oh, really? No, yeah, 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 that's I paranoia. I do know, that. You hear so many stories. It's like all right, I'm I that guy. Lord, I know, Lord, we covered, but I'm gonna make sure it ain't mine. You yeah, I'm that guy. I'm, I'm that like guy. someone could switch the babies. Anything, or like anything. Just I'm that, anything I'm, or tap, hit them or I don't know nah, what. Yeah, I'm that guy. Because you got to think these are these, these are our flesh and blood. These are our little souls. Yeah. This is just a job to them. And I'm not Literally. saying that, you know, a this lot of these nurses and stuff, yeah. you know, don't take care. But it's just like, if you don't watch them, I've seen them like, they flip it over like pancakes. Like, eh. Prodding, Newborns. you know what I mean? Uh, eh, eh, Change eh, the pamper. No, I eh. want to see everything. It's like, come on, yo, that's my baby. You know yeah, what I mean? I lost like plenty of sleep them nights. Oh yeah, yeah. Really? I'm oh, oh yeah, I'm that guy. I'm gosh. that guy. I'm that guy. You come when they say oh, we gotta come take the baby to do such and such. All right, let's I go. Got it. Let's go. Yep, I'm <laughs> let's going go. Too. Let's go. Going. Yeah. And it was really COVID time around that time, so it was really hard just to move over and go around. I'm like, nah, they gonna let me go. I'd be oh right. shit! Were they worried about letting you into the hospital at all? No, nah, I didn't see that. I didn't see none of that. I was, was they good. was I was cool. They let me in with no problem. We yeah, had the mask nobody on. Nobody else could go in. Nobody else could go in. No, no friends. It's no only friends, family. Just said. Yeah, yeah I that's what happens that. normally for birth. It's not like everybody's just pulling up to the fucking hospital. I mean, back in the day, you had all your family members and they at the hospital. At the hospital, hell yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You in the hospital? Yeah, everybody having the baby. Depending what number it is, too. Right. If it's the first, first one, one, you got everybody, everybody probably yeah, yeah. there. Second one. If you wanted, if you got seven or eight, you're like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might, you probably ain't even doing baby showers at that point. You know what I mean? Like, even at four. Yeah, I yeah. thought you doing baby shower. Like, did we do a baby shower? I don't know. I don't even think we did a baby shower. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you <laughs> well, you know what? I, I did send pampers. Let me send pampers later. I don't remember. We didn't even have no registry or nothing. Like, yeah. Why? Yeah. Also, yeah, why? Y'all decide to have the baby. It's tradition. <laughs> why I got to pay for it? I didn't ask y'all for the baby. I said the same thing. Yeah, hey, what is this registry? Oh, what is this a registry? This is for the woman. Just let them have it. But it's silly. Listen, um, have you watched Squid Game? No. Yet? You're rebelling because everybody likes it, huh? No, I really want to watch it badly. I didn't even know everybody was watching it. Me neither. It is the most watched Netflix show. I had no idea. I watched it off of a recommendation. Somebody was like, Yo, you should really check out Squid Game. You really like Fire? it. Fire? I thoroughly enjoy it. Son, yeah, South like Koreans it. are nice at just making film. And I TV had no and idea. No, then you watch The Ring. No, no, I never watched. You the don't ring. remember that movie, The Ring? Talk about the alarm oh, system with the lady, the kid, the little kid out the out the um, out the well. The well. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen yeah, that yeah. shit. They're nice action movie, horror movies. Like, how has nobody done that sketch yet? What's that? The Ring, and when the person goes to the people, it's the little motherfucker that was in the well. Somebody's had to do that already, it, right? It, it got memes like that crazy. Like a lot of things. Like as soon as you tap it is like come straight but I'm saying the, the ring oh the actual the ring software you're saying yeah so like when somebody goes to look when the doorbell rings it's that yeah. little shit that came out the well the, mm. the girl with the hair how has nobody done that somebody's had to do that what oh. well it took 10 years because Hollywood don't know good shit that's just what that has to yeah. do with yeah but you know what I we was binge watching it it went binge watching it watching it for a long time right 
<laughs> fuck that shit, man. Hurts like I'm saying shit. Watch the episodes back to back. Back to back. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I, went to, I went to fucking sleep. And then we argued the next night. And I hear her in the living room. Watching it. Watching the fucking thing. And I, yeah. she dared me say something about it. Yeah. I can't say, you. why are you watching it without me? I can't say nothing. So I'm sitting in the room and let her fucking finish it. So now I'm not even going to finish it because she finished it. And she always got control of the fucking movies. Yeah, but you could watch it maybe on the road or something like that. I, ain't, I don't even know how to do all that, man. How you get to I ain't got no password <laughs> or Netflix or nothing. Oh, so she got mad at you because you went back to watch it without her. No, no. She did. Me and her argue that okay, night. Okay. So, and then she went in the living room and watched it. That's disrespectful. It's fucked up. She that's finished it. That's disrespectful, yo. And that's, she finished it. No, that did Wow. I don't, and I don't know what the fuck going on in. That's like, that's like, <laughs> that's almost like right under cheating. <laughs> it is. No, it is, yo. It is. It is. It is. It's it is. right under cheating. It like, you got, like when somebody together, mad at y'all. you and you want to get back at a person, like you go do some shit like that, like watching that, the, the show that y'all binging without you. Yeah. That's right under cheating, yo. You watch that whole thing, you finished it. Is it worse? What do you mean? Is it worse than cheating? I think so. I think like cheating, I with you. I cheating like I only with you. lasts for like a few minutes. Like a show last for yeah, 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 we put a lot yeah, of time yeah, in yeah. hours. Yeah. We yeah. Put time yeah. And laugh yeah. together. Like, yeah. Come on. And now you're walking around deceiving me constantly. Like, you know the ending and I don't. And, and you're holding something from me. <laughs> you know something I don't know. Yeah. That's cheating. Nah, it is cheating. I love Squid Game, though. It's a great, it's a great. It's the worst is when you catch them, you ever like watch some shit and like they watched it before you. And then they, they try to resume. act like they, they did. Try, yeah. But then they, they'll, they'll resume, leak it. How's on number nine? They'll be like, oh, this, should, this part about to be crazy. That's like, crazy. Oh, I, I got mad last <laughs> night because I was like. Oh, is it going to be crazy? <laughs> I got mad last night. I was, I was high and I was, we was watching it on Friday or Saturday. Yeah. And um, I was like, yo, where we at with Squid Game? And she was like, episode five. What's episode five? I only saw one. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, the, you were sleeping the whole time? Yeah, the last but then as I'm I watching saw... it, I'm like, oh, no, I did see that. Yeah. And oh, yeah, I did yeah, see yeah. that. Because I'd be half sleep. Did you think all the episodes look the same or something? Or? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, they kind of do. They do. They actually <laughs> do. No, no, they actually kind of <laughs> do. Kinda because do. you got to think, everybody's wearing the same shit. Mm-hmm. That's what I was, man. It's so easy. Yeah. This would be an easy one to make. <laughs> no, what did kinda, you guys think I was trying to say? It, it, it kind of it kinda, it kinda is. It kind of is. It's very graphic, though. Like, is it? I realize oh I'm getting, gosh. like, so fucking pussy in my old age. Why? No, I enjoy it. I don't it. like that shit. Every I'm like, time oh, I see him hit, oh. Every time I see somebody get hit, I, I enjoy Like, wow, why do I enjoy this shit so much? I didn't like like it. Wait, what? Uh, do I want to know? Yes. I'm going to watch it this way. It's like this. My last thing that I saw is when uh, Pop said, Oh, I got one more. Don't tell me. 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 Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. And, and, don't spoil and that's it. the last part I saw. Uh, I don't even know what he's talking about. Me neither. Good. But it's good. Oh, and, 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 Pop, you remember and, that part? Nah, and it's crazy. It took 10 years to make. And, and Duval told me this. I thought he was lying. He was like, Yeah, they said it wasn't realistic. And I'm like, why the fuck does a science fiction movie have to be realistic? Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, like isn't that the whole point of science fiction? <laughs> I'm like, is it the whole point of science fiction that I'm it's sure not somebody realistic? Gonna, somebody's yeah. gonna try to me- remake this though in real life. Somebody's gonna do this. Oh, well, Hovain had a good idea. Hovain was like, what if they did Squid Games for people with PPM loans? PP. PPE PPP. loans, whatever the shit. What is it? PPP oh, loans. Yeah. Like, that would be very, very interesting to watch people have to pay off their debts to the government mm. by doing that type of shit. That would be very, very, very like interesting. Working out though, like what would they do instead of getting killed? Nah, they would have to get killed. Come on, they'd have to get killed. <laughs> they'd have to get killed. I wonder what they were doing with all them bodies on Squid Game though. I mean, I know they burn them, but yeah, it's they like burn them. But then take, somebody, then there was the other person taking, taking the organs, taking like the organs out. Well, Yo, I, don't, I never saw calls? it yet. I never Yo, saw it. Well, that's not our fault. I never it's saw number it. one in 90 countries. It just countries. came out. Nah. Number, you have three days? It, no. no. It's number not one in this. 90 countries, if bro. I saw it, bro, and I don't watch TV, you have to see Oh, it, it. just came out? No. Yeah. Oh, I uh, didn't know. It's Me been neither. Out. It's been out like three weeks. Yeah. Fuck, really? Yeah. yeah. And it's number one in 90 countries. you know how much your heart is? How much your heart is? Yeah. How much is a heart? A fucking million dollars for a fucking heart. Depends on who hard it is, though. Did you mean on Squid Game? I'm just saying, did you say it was taking all the hearts and the organs and stuff out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A heart is a million dollars. A liver is like uh, 80000 What, on the black market? Yeah, yeah. I don't believe that. Nobody paying no million dollars Look it up right now, Miss Lady. Um, Miss Lady? Lady. <laughs> Who the fuck don't let him disrespect you like that. Don't let him disrespect Miss you like that. Lady don't let him Diddy, reduce I you to gender. No. Don't let him reduce you to gender, Taylor. He... <laughs> okay? Don't you ever let a man reduce you to gender. 
but you ever let a man reduce you to gender? Yeah, he doubled down on what gender too. A myth lady. lady. Damn. You a woman tonight. You, you are all woman today. All right, ain't no Yo, gonna be no day. How much, how much for all right? a heart? How much for a heart or a liver? A heart is a milli? I think the heart is a million dollars for a heart, yo. What are you talking about? For, that's how he was selling all the parts. What do you think they was doing with the parts? Even I didn't really, yes. It might have. Oh my gosh. A million dollars, right? Wow. If Livers you want to legally second, sell your heart in the US, oh, they Whoa. said legally. Yeah, so somebody getting a car accident and their heart's still going, you cut it out real fast, you get a million dollars. So what's the point of being an organ donor then? <laughs> Hold on, how you legally sell your heart? <laughs> because somebody gonna need it. Yeah, but how do you sell it? Like, Somebody got. I guess know, you sell it beforehand, so when you die. But that doesn't make no sense. What's the point of being an organ donor then? Because the organ they, donors oh, donate for free, right? Oh, that's so smart. Oh, that's why they make us donate because if we could, sell, I'm selling. Yo, no, Can I'm I put down my license? shit? Hell yeah, fuck that donating for my sale. shit. Yeah. If I know you're getting a million dollars, so hold on, they're getting all these fucking free hearts. And they all a million dollars. Yeah, and that's insurance pays for it game. anyway. It's game. not like the people who need the heart got to pay for it. The yeah. insurance company got to pay for it. Wow. Mm. Oh, and shit. And you never got to pay this person back because they dead. That's grimy, though, to sell some shit after you're dead. But you're doing it for your family. No, no, you don't get no money. You should just be an organ donor, though. But how the fuck do you sell a legal heart? Can't you get a fake heart? <laughs> what? Yo, like, how much do you think I'll a buy meat costs? a fake heart. See, see how much a meat costs? The dick does you no good. Just see. Let the record show Wax bought up dick first on this no, podcast. No, today. I'm just saying. Yeah. I want to see Not, I, you did. all parts you of the see the body. Dick. You want to buy a dick. <laughs> no, I don't. You want to buy a dick? No, I don't. Yes, you do. I'm just <laughs> You're curious to buy a dick. You're no, I'm curious. just saying all parts. I want to see what hands is too. Why the fuck did penis enlargement surgery the first one to come out? Salute to everybody going out there to get that height surgery though. You know what I'm saying? I don't see the point of it because your body going to still look short. It's just going to look like you walking around on stilts. Yeah. yeah. So it's not going to make no sense. So I'm going to be one of them hating ass natural girls. You know how like... <laughs> You know how natural girls hate on girls who get but like yeah, any plastic surgery. Her titties are fake. Her ass is fake. That's they me. They have to let you know, like, oh, old girl look good. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's surgery yeah. though. His height is fake. I'm like, that's that's that's. <laughs> he's got extensions. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people think my hair is fucking a weave. It is. <laughs> is it him? Wait a minute. You tell people my shit is weave for years. I I actually thought you got a weave. Good job. He got a, you didn't know that? <laughs> I, I did think that. Y'all gonna have a weave and a fucking bald spot. Like this shit's sad, man. Bald spot up with weave. The crazy I, can part I is see your bald spot? Because I don't believe you have one. You never seen my bald spot? I've never seen your bald spot. He got a picture. I showed it to you. I sent you the picture before. That's not him, dude. That's a That's homeless me. guy. That's me. That's you. Yes. Is that you why you wear a... Top? You, is that bad you don't want to fucking believe it? It, it is It is shocking. <laughs> It is shocking. He act like that shit ain't going to happen, though. What do you mean? You're going to go bald one day. Get older. Your shit going to thin out, and you're going to be Coolio. Salute to Coolio, but it is what it is. Listen, what you want me to do? Man? Why don't you Stevie Wonder. On, get on the magic, bro. Get on that keeps. Magic who? Magic keeps, keeps is mad. Keeps your hair. Did you hear Dave Chappelle's joke about the COVID? No. What did he, he say? say he's the Magic Johnson of COVID? What did he say? He said he's the Magic Johnson of COVID because he, he got it, it and it didn't. he didn't have no symptoms. symptoms. But I'm like... It's mad people that would have Magic Johnson to COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His new special came out today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah, new yeah. special came out today. I haven't watched it yet. I just heard that clip. I heard that clip play. Uh, we played that clip on Breakfast Club this morning. And Yo, man, hope, what did you say about it? it? Oh, how was it? I didn't see it yet. I haven't I seen watched nothing, bro. Yeah. Nothing? I've been watching Game of Thrones again. I'm watching Game of Thrones again. Why? I just filmed a fucking special, man. <laughs> oh, I'm working. you did film I'm a special. Here, bro. Like, I mean, we all working, but I'm saying, like, yeah. I, I, I haven't been on TV hard either. I watched BMF. I watched I um, Squid Game, and I've been watching Disney's What If. Okay. That's what okay. I've been watching. But tell me about the Chappelle. The... I mean, I haven't seen the whole thing. I just I just saw that part because Angelique played it on the radio this morning, and I saw, um, I, I heard, I saw when he was talking about the baby, the baby, which was a little misleading. Because he was talking about, uh, you know, how people were out were, were, weren't outraged when the baby, you know, killed somebody in a Walmart. Yeah. You know, he went on to have a great career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he said the thing at Rolling Loud, and yeah. now people want to stop his bags. But, but didn't he say, didn't he kill someone in self, in self defense? defense? That was yeah. the context. That was the yeah. only thing I was like, eh, I was like that's a little out of context, Dave. Because he was just like, the baby's a wild dude, yada yada yada. But the baby killed somebody in self defense. You could kill someone in self defense. You could be a little uh, sexist or homophobic or racist in self-defense. Explain, explain. I explain. think it's. I think people would forgive you. Like, 
he got a he nah. got a, what? Because even in anger, even in anger, I mean, because we've seen that, right? We've seen people. You never people- got fucking cut off driving and the first shit came out of your mouth. You see the girl cut you off. You're like, bitch. Yeah, what? but you're still going to get called sexist. And you're still going to get called well, racist. I call, I call somebody fat Like if she day. cut me off sexist. It don't matter. Yeah. Like if I'm a black person, I cut a white person off and you yell out, fuck you, nigger. No, that's too far. It's still the same thing. No, though. but if you go, this black motherfucker. Like, no, you can't say it's that. the same thing. Same thing. That, Yo, by the way, that's racist. That's worse. That's, no. Yes. That's is way worse. Nah, nah. It's the same no, thing. Same, same thing. Shit. If a white guy same cut thing. you off, you wouldn't go, this crack ass motherfucker. No. Yes, I probably would. I Thank no. you. Thank you for being honest. You lie. I probably would. I'm gonna still racist. the shit out of this motherfucker <laughs> when I catch him. But he's you a motherfucker to me. I don't. But by the way, you, you know why it's even more so racist? Progressive. It's why I'm telling you why it's yeah, even more yeah. racist. I'm more Doctor Umar with it. If I call him a, <laughs> if I call him a cracker, <laughs> yeah. and he calls me the N word just because I cut him off, it has nothing to do with behavior. Can't use the N word. That's what I'm saying. And if I call him a cracker, yeah. I don't know this man. This man might be Sean King. Yeah. For all I know, you know what I'm saying? Like he might yeah. be a very progressive. He white person. Spanish. He might be a person that's out here on the front lines for black people. What are you talking about? Finally! What are you After talking years about? Years what are you talking hard about? Work, what are you talking about? He's a cracker. Who? <laughs> I don't get it. Sean King. He's white. No, I meant two, I was talking about two different people. I oh, said I was I like the person saying, might be yeah, Sean yeah, King, yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah, then yeah, I yeah, said, "Or yeah. it might be like a liberal white person." I can see how you could yeah. connect yeah, to that. Is, I, I can see what you did there. We yeah. heard what we wanted. To yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I'm, being, I'm obviously joking. I'm being hyperbolic here. I'm, I get I'm obviously it, I get fucking it. joking, and there's no justification for you know racism, and there's there's no justification for murder. But there is a caveat. If someone's trying to murder you, self defense, mm-hmm. you're allowed to Defend do whatever yourself. you have to do to protect sure. yourself, right? 100%. And if somebody, but that doesn't work with racism. If someone's trying to be racist to you, you're not allowed to be racist in self defense. I think that's a funny concept. No, I for disagree a joke. with that. Talk to me. If somebody's, I tell you it all the time. Whenever I see white people calling black people the n word, I'm like, well, what's wrong with your mouth? You don't know how to say the word cracker? Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, you, so you believe in racism and self defense. I don't, yeah, I don't know how if to you say, say If you that. disrespect me, call me out my name, I'm going to call you back out your name too. I've seen women do that to guys. You call a woman the B word, they're going to be like, fuck you, you little dick pussy or something. Oh, shit. They, might, they might call you a gay. Oh, I've seen that. Oh, I've definitely seen that. First. I've seen yeah. women. Yeah. Go gay yeah. first. You call a woman the B word, yeah. a woman will reply with a gay slur in a heartbeat. She yeah, would let that F word drop on you two. so fast. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that no, in a heartbeat. Go suck a fucking dick. Go suck a yeah, dick. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Suck, a, suck dick. a dick. Yo, listen, even people yeah. that suck dick don't want to be, don't be known to suck dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you even call a girl, she could just now finish sucking dick. If you call her, you fucking dick sucking motherfucker, she'd be pissed off. Your context matters. No, for real. Context matters. Dick. A girl can finish sucking dick. Sucker. Dick, all right, dick sucker. Ooh, <laughs> Contact oh, matters. You Contact me. matters. You was just sucking dick. You just sucking dick. Right? Because it's the same. It's what? the same. It's the same with guys, right? You call a guy a pussy. I love pussy. Yeah. <laughs> we all but enjoy pussy. Don't, don't, call don't call me no don't fucking call pussy, me a pussy, man. The pussy get fucked. That's yeah. why you call a pussy. Yeah, but that vagina also but gives birth. pussy doesn't just get fucked. Yeah. What else pussy do? That vagina Great gives birth. Beings. What are you talking about? Okay. Makes me bust nuts mad quick as hell. When you watch, right. man, when you watch that Got baby control. come out there. When you got control of you. There you go. Okay, I'm thinking bigger. Makes you bigger. do anything for it. Mm, a yeah. vagina is the canal of life. It's literally our connection from whatever world you came from into this New wow, world. so that's like a portal machine. Yes, that's exactly what a vagina is, a portal. That's 100% what it is. Wow, this I never thing, thought it, of that shit. It's, See, it's, now I'm it's bigger actually, about pussy. No, it's yeah. insane. Like, it's actually like, wow. Like, it really gives you a whole Pussy's new a meaning of miracle. everything. It's an incredible thing, bro. I mean, we, <laughs> really we, we do half the work. We ain't got shit. Nah, nah. We, the pussy, we put the seeds in. Eh. If you don't plant the seed, you don't get the fucking, you know, yeah, 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 I get you. Yeah. I mean, bro, that's y'all like, hate men. Listen, that, that's like, yeah, 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 y'all hate that's men, like, like having batter, but you need that fucking stove. That's right. What the fuck we doing? That's right. We're the one technically seasoning it, right? We based it. No, every no, no, we got water. Nah, we got water. Bro. We, we put the water in it. Nah, <laughs> you got to get up in there nah. as flavor, right? There's, there, there's nothing that appreciates, there's, there, there's nothing that makes you appreciate Women more and just life more than watching the baby come into the world. I completely or even I'm taking care of it. It's unbelievable. That. I completely understand that. Magical machines. I don't. It's 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 actually unreal. And every single time I watch my wife give birth, I'm like, all right, this one is eight pounds. 
I just want to wave my dick one time just to see. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no way, there's no way that something's eight pounds and yeah. whatever many ounces can come out of this yeah. and I'm doing anything for it. You feel like she's lying. Yeah, she's lying. You gotta be. Yeah. Now it is a difference. Okay. Going in. Then coming and out. coming out. Coming Why? Because I would think, you know, going in might be a little different. Might be applying a little yeah. bit, a different type of pressure than going out. Yeah. No, nah, that's, that's probably like doodle, true. That's like doodle, right? Yeah, like doodle you have take to go in your butt. Yeah. Be unfucking yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy yeah, to come yeah, out. That's that why way. on training yeah. day, the, 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 the Mexicans was like, "You ever had your shit, shit pushed in?" <laughs> and I was yeah, like, "Yo, yeah. that is the harshest shit to say." Yeah. Can you imagine? You know how terrifying that is if somebody about to fuck you up. Like, you ever had your shit pushed in? What the fuck you mean? <laughs> no, if I ever had my no, shit pushed in? Yeah, I got my shit. No, that's what the rest of the was saying. I ain't gonna do the rest of the movie. Oh, I got my shit pushed in. Wait, he said it? Yeah, yeah. The other one. They you all don't remember that? The table. And, and then y'all made that up. No, then they, they started talking about giving love to the homies. That? What movie y'all like, saw? Training man. Day. You ain't watched Training Day. I know y'all saw like, Training Day. You think you should push into? That's a different movie than me, dude. I didn't see that one. Training Day was wild. How many times I watched Training Day? Apparently enough. <laughs> I watched Training Day a That's million times. Word up. What were they gonna do to him though? They were gonna fuck his butthole, dude. Nah, they just gonna tear his ass. They gonna they gonna uh, hit his ass up in the shower. They never got to that point though. It wasn't yeah. like on Pulp Fiction where they showed you. Oh God. <laughs> when he was just getting his cheeks. Clapped. Oh my oh, God, man. What type of fucking check was that? So I mean? always think about that with like herpes commercials. <laughs> like you ever see like the herpes commercial on TV and like there's somebody who's like on the commercial like a person tried to get that role but what if they really got herpes though yeah maybe they do made it you yeah, better yeah, yeah I hope so you better like imagine you just there. acting if imagine I'm you doodle man y'all gotta be motherfucking herpes guy yeah what's wrong with having herpes no, I'm not herpes shame people I'm not herpes shame I'm not herpes, but it's, if you don't you have got it, it if you Ooh. don't have it Damn. and you go do the commercial mm -hmm. that's not crazy yeah, you like putting yourself out there. Exactly. Everybody think you're doing. Is it though? It's a commercial. Commercial ain't acting. And I think they tell you at the bottom, these are paid actors. I think they say they that at the bottom. They got to say at the top. They got to start they the need, commercial with. By they the way, nobody remembers anybody from a herpes commercial. No, you're going to see the dude in the street be like, oh, you're the dude from a herpes commercial? I would. We need to. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, you don't. You don't remember no face. Yo, you know that commercial when they, they talk about the guy like, oh, I'm in school. Tell all my friends I said um, I should have got the COVID shot. What the fuck is up with that? What commercial? is the Coving shot? Coving sound like some fucking shit off Star Trek. <laughs> you like, heard that commercial? Who are the Coving? No, <laughs> we got like a little kid in a dying bed. There's like, oh, I'm sorry, I should have got the COVID shot. I don't. I've, I've heard that, that commercial. I don't remember yeah, being I no hate little kid. That fucking commercial. Why? If I got all this real shit happening, what the fuck y'all doing this fucking um, other shit? How do we know it's fake? I mean, they might have recorded that on his bed. On his doesn't bed. kill kids. Come on, and that's too it good of quality kids. and everything. Yeah, no, no, nah, nah, it's, it's definitely taking some. It's taking some kids. It's out. taking them, but it's, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. what it wants. I don't know what it wants. You know, yeah, sharks wants. bite, but they don't really want humans, right? That's and exactly. You sound. Sometimes they bite and they're like, "Oh my bad." COVID don't want kids. You know what COVID wants? What does COVID want? What Trump COVID supporters. Want, you know what COVID wants? <laughs> what does COVID what want? You know what bro. it wants, bro? What? You know what it wants, bro? <laughs> I don't know what does COVID, COVID want? want. You know what COVID wants? Who does bro? COVID want? Who does COVID want, man? <laughs> but who does COVID want? Who does it want? There man? is a correlation. I read a study where there's a correlation between um, mm -hmm. the, the high, the counties with the highest amounts of COVID are Trump supporters that voted for Trump. There was a New York Times article that said the, the places that have the highest amounts of COVID, the counties with the highest amounts of COVID also had the highest amount of Trump. Yeah, Trump I mean, that's just, that's just anti-vax. Which is so crazy to me. I don't, I don't know what we're doing with this vaccine no more, man. I really don't. Because yeah. like, I don't even understand what people's you know, narratives vac are anymore. That's the vaccine really brought the two groups that were the most polarized together. What you mean? Who, black people and Trump supporters? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, that, that was four Elliot, years, for they real. couldn't agree. And then one thing came out, and they were like, all right, fine. Y'all kind of make some sense over here. Uh, I you, just, I'm just tired of the media, yeah. bro. Like, I'm tired of, like, like, what they do to people. Like, what they did to LeBron James this week was so stupid to What'd me. what they do to him? Well, you know, LeBron came out, and he said, you know, he, was he had a lot of, you know, he was... Uh, he had a lot of speculation about the vaccine at first, but he decided... Ske to, he was skeptic, skeptical? Skeptical, what did it? I say? 
Uh, speculation. Speculation. I don't know. For whatever reason, I was thinking about spectacular from Pretty Ricky, and I don't know why. But he was. I really don't know why. I was. I started to say he was. It was spectac. He had a lot. Of, he had a spectacular about the vaccine. I don't know why the fuck. Salute to spectacular. But it, he was skeptical about the vaccine. Yeah. Right now, I'm thinking about the rapper from the UK. Skeptical. He was skeptical. About the vaccine. I don't know what the fuck going on. Marvel. But he was skeptical about the vaccine. But he was like, you know, he sat down. He did his research. He talked to doctors. So he got it right. Yeah. And he was like, he felt like that was the best thing for him and his family. And then they asked him, does he feel like it's his job to go out there and like, you know, be a surrogate for the vaccine, basically? And he was like, no. People should uh, just do what I did. Like, go out there, do your research and do what's best for your family. That's respect. And I'm watching like that's The View. Yeah. And I'm watching other people be like, that's so irresponsible, LeBron. I'm like, you if your narrative is that you want people to go out there and get the vaccine in your media, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You got the sound bite you want. LeBron James got the vaccine, and his family got the vaccine. Is that enough? And, and he said he did the research and got it. Is, so what's the problem? Is that not enough? Anybody that says do your research and make the decision yourself is like, going to be criticized. Why? why? Because they don't want you to research. They just want you to do what the fuck they say. If they don't want you to get vaccinated, then don't get vaccinated. And if they do want you to get vaccinated, then do get vaccinated. But my point is, if they do want you to get vaccinated, you got the sound bite you want. Yeah. Yeah. You got LeBron James... One of the biggest stars in the world, most popular Af NBA player still. Oh, you right? saying the left was coming after him? He, the View did a whole topic on it, and they were basically calling him irresponsible and saying how it should be his job to Come go out. out there and be a surrogate. And I'm what like, what are these women experts in on the View? I'm not gonna just make it a woman thing because it, was, it wasn't just it was people on ESPN. Like <laughs> there's the, only he, women on he, the View. He, he got criticized by uh, <laughs> Enos Cantor. Huh? Enos Cantor yeah, yeah. came out and criticized LeBron as well. But my point is. He I got the, the whole, vaccine. I gotta know the whole thing that he said. What? There's gotta be more context to this. No, what? that's it. That's literally all he said. He said, I was skeptical of it, but then I ended up I was skeptical it. of it. I got it. Me and my family got it. And the follow-up question, the guy was like, so you don't think it's your responsibility to go out there and tell people about the vaccine? And he was like, no. I'm not a doctor. I'm a basketball player. But my point is... He got the vaccine. Where media? Media should control narratives. Media yes. should control headlines. Why is that the headline? Mm. LeBron James says it's not his job to go. See, look. Why LeBron James COVID vaccine cop out is bad for the NBA. Boy, Enos Canner rips LeBron James over ridiculous COVID-19 vaccine stance. Celtics Enos Canner rips LeBron James for failing to Who publicly advocate for COVID vaccine. This is so silly to me. He did publicly advocate for it because he said he got it. And, and he did the research. <laughs> so you don't have to do the research because you're going to trust LeBron. Already did it. Huh? Was he saying that? Wait, what was that? I said, you find you the clip, that, Alex. Play I the clip you, for you. Oh, LeBron yeah, yeah. did it because he already did the research. Yeah, play play yeah. the clip for shows, and um, um, Alex. Oh, it's Tim. What is what on? Let's go to videos. I don't know. Eh, but, just LeBron James on vaccine. You should be able to find it. My point is, that is public advocacy. Getting the yeah. vaccine is public advocacy. LeBron showed and proved by actions and deeds, not words and lip service. Now, if somebody would have asked LeBron, are you vaccinated? And he said, that's none of my business. That's still his prerogative. Yeah, but I can that. understand people coming at him more for that than this. Oh, everyone yeah. has their own choice to do what they feel is right for themselves and their family and things of that nature. That's a fact. James said, go down. Uh, let's go back up. Wait, wait. Pause. <laughs> go down. <laughs> <laughs> Alex did a horrible job. This man paid you for stop, a service. Stop, stop. Alex, stop. He no, paid you no, for no, a no, service. Gonna, <laughs> tell me, tell me. I just want to read it. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Okay, so right, stop, stop, stop. NBA go down, go down. superstar LeBron James confirmed to confirm to everyone him. has their own choice to do what they feel is right for themselves and their family. And things of that nature, James said during the Los Angeles Lakers media day in El Segundo, California. I know that I was very skeptical about it. <laughs> he used that shit like me. But <laughs> uh, after doing my research and things of that nature, he'd be in nature, huh? I felt like it was the best. Uh, I felt like it was best suited for not only me but my family and my friends. That's why I decided. to And do that it. should be it. Period. That literally should be it. Now scroll down some more, Taylor. Jesus Christ, Tim. It's just a mouse. <laughs> um, Wait, so, oh, oh, this okay, is the yeah. issue. James said Tuesday that while he's vaccinated, it wasn't his place to impose that decision on others. We are talking about people's bodies and well-beings. I don't feel like for me personally that I should get involved in what other people should do for their bodies and yeah. livelihoods. You have to do what's best for you and your family. What's wrong with that? Nothing. nothing. I mean, nothing. nothing's wrong with that. I think that that's actually great. What? That's what I'm yeah. saying. You're not you a doctor, dude. That. 
You're not a fucking doctor. You're not mm -hmm. an expert in this shit. Don't tell people what to do. How can you make this about anything other than LeBron and his family getting vaccinated? They did vaccinated. They did the same shit to Nicki Minaj a couple of weeks ago. They ignored the fact that Nicki said Drake was vaccinated. They ignored the fact that Nicki said she's probably going to get vaccinated. Yeah. They just, and by the way, I could totally see why they would focus on the tweet about the balls. You know what I mean? The vaccine and the balls, the big swelling balls, because it was funny. But- that shouldn't have been the narrative. I yeah, often yeah, wonder, yeah, yeah. do y'all people really care about folks getting the vaccine or do y'all just want clicks? They want clicks. That's Come what on. it is. They just want fear. That's what the whole media is based on is fear. It's, it's fear sad, machine. yo. The media fear is what gets us a click. Akash had a funny thing about the um, the Nikki thing because I asked him about it. I was like, what do you think about like the Nikki thing? Because the story was essentially her cousin allegedly got vaccinated. Her cousin's friend. Her cousin's friend got vaccinated. Got vaccinated. And was supposed balls. to get married. His ball swole up and then the woman, the woman left, left him. Because he was impotent. <laughs> he was right? impotent and his ball and the, swole up. And the woman up. left him and then he didn't get married. And then Akash goes, uh, this is, I knew this was absolute bullshit. And I go, why? He goes, because this is every immigrant mom's biggest fear that a wedding's not going to happen. So, like, so he's basically, he's basically like, that's my mom been saying my whole life. It's just like. But they weren't immigrants though. Say what? They weren't immigrants. Uh, his mom is an immigrant in America. Oh, no, I'm saying, but but to Nikki's point, they live in Trinidad. I know, I understand, but like he has the immigrant in America experience. Got you, got so you, got him you. and all of his friends, the most valuable thing is the wedding. That's a cultural trait that card. comes from. No, 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 just yeah, in general. You get to come to America. Weddings oh, just mean so much. Oh, got you, got you, got so you, got you. So he's like, he understands being. Freedom. His mom is going, oh my God, if anything happened to you where you couldn't get married, that would be the worst. Yeah. And that's where the fear is coming from. Hey. Yeah. I thought it was just an interesting, like immediately he was like, oh no, this is like a folk tale. Like this is what our moms tell us all the time. Yeah. Oh, don't go to this thing because if you go in the bumper cars, you could bang your head and then you won't get married. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. they're worried about is yeah, getting yeah, the family. Yeah. Yeah. Continuing. Mm. I just hate it. I just Smart. really, I just really hate how we create these narratives that don't even push our own agendas forward. <laughs> like right. back in the day, media used to be, and it still is, it's agenda driven, right? But we can't even like, Push agendas correctly anymore. No, there is an agenda. Because the, the agenda is attention. Yeah, like, literally, that's all it is. Who can get the uh, the story that's going to get the most hits that day, the most LeBron retweets? What's the most clickbaity headline? Because there's no way you hear LeBron James say, "My, me and my family got vaccinated, and you focus on him saying, it's not my job to go out there and impose the vaccine on people. It's not his fucking job. He's an NBA player. Yeah, he is an NBA player. But to be fair, he also like makes himself uh, not an NBA player all the time. So it's like, when when do you become an expert in something? When do you understand exactly what's going on? Like, it's not his responsibility, though. It's not his responsibility. It's not his responsibility. No, no, I, I, listen, I don't give a fuck, me personally, but mm -hmm. LeBron did decide to be an advocate for more things than just basketball. So he can't go, I'm going to just shut up and dribble when he wants. But he really didn't say that. He, he didn't told say you that. His, what he I did. think that this makes perfect sense. I just yes. want to clarify. Yeah. He decided to become a geopolitical. Oh, I see what you're saying. So people look to him. To, if, if you if once once an advocate, always an advocate is what you. I get what you're and, saying. And and, and I, I don't believe that you have to be that way. I think you I can advocate saying. about the things that you want. I, I get yes. it. There's two different ways. Like you could be Charlemagne the God. You could be an advocate about uh, the health. black experience in America and mental health, yep. right? And mm -hmm. not say a single fucking thing about America's like geopolitics. You know, with Afghanistan, these things. You could go. I don't even know, know what about that this. is. Boom. Yeah. Exactly, right? This <laughs> should sound like a show on Nat Geo. <laughs> <laughs> but what happens is once people see you advocate for one thing, they start going, oh, you're just going to forget about the people in Afghanistan? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And motherfuckers simply don't know how to say, I don't know. Yeah. Or, well, I don't, or I don't have an opinion I on that. people who know every fucking thing. It's ridiculous. Well, yeah. But I mean, that's, that's his opinion. Thing. And I'm going to tell you what else the media does. When the media runs a headline about Nicki Minaj saying that about her a cousin's friend. Yep. All people that follow Nikki here is Nikki doesn't want to get the vaccine. When they see that headline about LeBron, all they think is, oh, LeBron's anti-vaccine as well. So what are you pushing? You're pushing an anti-vaccine narrative. You're people, pushing anti-vaccine rhetoric. Instead of having a headline, LeBron James is vaccinated, so is his family. Yeah. Why aren't you? Yeah. If you're trying if you're actually trying well, to get people need, vaccinated. They need something for people to click on now that people aren't dying anymore. When people are dying, you could just be like, the numbers in Florida are going crazy. Yeah, and then every that. week, the numbers in Florida, and then motherfuckers stop dying. And now it's like, well shit, what do we talk yeah, about Don now? Now nah, people still dying yeah. now. Not not like they were. I but you, you, to be honest you, with you, I don't know. You see how easy that was for me to say? 
<laughs> I don't know. I haven't been keeping up. I know that it's out there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know that it's careful. still impacting people. Yeah, I just careful. don't know what it's doing as opposed to what it was doing last year. Last year, we had the ticker on TV yeah. every, every second of the day. We could keep count. So now we need something yeah. new. We need something else because that ticker was perfect for them because they sell fear. And mm -hmm. what's scarier than a number that just shows how many people are dying every single yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, we don't even want to leave the house. Yeah, if we, did, if we did that for everything, Lord have mercy. I was, I was thinking about that with cigarettes. The other day. I think I read something that said cigarettes kill like 480,000, damn near a half a million people a year, and secondhand smoke kills like 50,000. That's smoke hard. What though? That's hard Weed? to say. Like, you don't what know you what secondhand smoke Yeah. Is. You don't know if secondhand smoke is the thing that kill people. I don't know how they come up tar, with this shit. I don't know. Tar smoke. It could be fucking car smoke. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know how they come up shit. with the secondhand smoke number, but. That's some bullshit, ain't it? It's buggy. So you tell me I can't crazy. smoke around nobody? You what? think just the second hand smoke kill? Like you could work in a coal mine your whole life, you get fucking cancer and people. I think it's because when you were at the bar, someone was blowing a fucking parliament light at you. There's no way. No well, here's way. the thing. No way. None of us are lung experts. <laughs> None of us are experts on nicotine. So we're kind of contradicting ourselves, but this is the I Brilliant Idiots podcast. I'm an expert Shoot. On, on bullshit. <laughs> I don't know that is some bullshit. Sense. I that know bullshit. how to bullshit. I don't know if it's bullshit or not. I don't like cigarette smoke around me. I know that much. I, I and not because of that China. stat, just because I don't like the shit. If you die from secondhand smoke, you are soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might as well just smoke. You pussy. Pussy? Don't do that. <laughs> That's some pussy ass shit. Don't, don't, don't do that. Pussy what, 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 the reason I don't want you to do that because I don't want secondhand smoke to try you. You know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I don't want you, you, don't you, want you to be walking right down. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. You see this oh, right man. here? Don't I'm do ready that. for all the second nah, smoke. Second hand smoke is listening to you right now. Like, you wait till that big nose motherfucker comes to Florida Ooh. again. <laughs> okay. I'm bringing it all in, baby. Second hand smoke. Wait till he works on his new set in the comedy club. We got something for his ass. All right. <laughs> You do all yeah, second like, all green rooms. I want all the second hand smoke. smoke. Do all green rooms second hand like smoke that? like word. That was in the green room and it was smoky. Yeah. That's second, third, fourth hand smoke. Yo, yo, yo. Imagine second hand smoke talking to the person that's smoking. Blow me over there, yo. Blow me over there in the direction of strokes. Blow me on that head. Shit. <laughs> that's second hand smoke ain't no joke. But my point is, they don't put the that ticker on TV. Yeah. If people saw that in real time, they'd be, no, they'd be yeah. a band on cigarettes you yeah, would think right yeah nah, i would think some, i heard i heard something the other day somebody said uh somebody die every two seconds and a baby is born every two seconds or something like that they should do that maybe do the stuff like trying to have what? sex raw they, they got that they got a they got a world ticker yeah yeah, for yeah they, population. Got a, they got a death yeah, ticker yeah. and all that i ain't, yeah. I ain't seen none of that nah, shit they ever. got that they definitely got that they got they definitely got that there's a culture war going on man and people need shit to fight about and so they, so they have so they have like the white kids, black kids, every kids. Like we know who which one is being born. So who's being born the most in the fastest? Oh, it should be like the Olympics. You know what I mean? Where they have like the gold medal count. And How you many have kids the was done that yeah. day? How many black kids was that day? How many white kids? Yeah. Was that? How many Asian kids was that day? Like this is exciting for me. That's better than this fucking Twitter shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just watch it. Watch. We're just, we're just watching babies come into the world? Yeah, want to see who had the most that day. Like, was it black kids the most that day, or white yeah. kids, or Asian kids, or it's Afghanistan Asian kids? kids? It's, <laughs> it's Asian kids. It's like Indian and Chinese, for sure. Yeah. Actually, I, I, China, they, they still have the policy than... for one kid? I think they removed that policy. Yeah, they removed it. So yeah, they removed that good. policy. It's definitely India, China. I mean, no, there's like yo, their woman be billions old. of people. Yeah, the older woman, like the oldest woman, I probably think she had to be in her 50s, 60s. She was still pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Like how? Yes, yeah, miracles, man. It is that pussy is really a miracle. It is. It absolutely is. Let's pay some bills, man, and come back and uh, talk a little sage still. Why don't? Ooh. We? You want to do cushy dreams? Yes, let's do it. The world today is nuts, and just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable, and that's where our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high-quality, smokable CBD, and CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief, and more. I'm telling you, this is the best CBD flower on the planet, okay? They specialize in the flower. That's what they do. They got the pre-rolls, and they got the, they're like, they're like little tuna cans of the little hockey pucks of the flower. So if you want to mix that in with your weed, way better than smoking them cigarettes because you don't want to get any of that fucked up shit that the cigarettes can do. You don't want that first hand or second hand <laughs> issues <laughs> you know, with them cigarettes. So... 
Cannabis can be shipped discreetly to you and directly to all 50 states. You know, they offer indica, sativa strains. They deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. I'm telling you, this is the best in the business, okay? They have been promoting the fuck out of us, supporting the infamous tour, official sponsor. So if you want to get them them pre-rolls, if you want that beautiful bud, Kishy Dreams has you covered. You can go to K-U-S-H-Y dreams.com. That is cushydreams.com. And at checkout, use the promo code idiots for 20% off your next order. I'm telling you, man, it is the best flower on the planet. Smoke your CBD with promo code idiots and get 20% off today. What else we got, man? What else we got? Oh, we got liquid death. Oh, hell yes. Uh, you may receive a call from your teenager's teacher saying they saw your child drinking a tall boy of beer in their virtual Zoom class, but it's most likely not beer. It's a new mountain spring water brand called liquid death. Why is this water called liquid death? Well, because it will brutally murder your thirst. That is very harsh, liquid death. And their infinitely recyclable tall boy cans are helping to bring death to plastic bottles. They also donate 10% of the profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. See, still killing death. Plastic isn't actually recyclable anymore. In fact, most plastic you throw in a recycling bin actually just gets sent to a landfill because it's not profitable to recycle. Aluminum is infinitely recyclable and actually profitable for recycling facilities. Naturally react to the product and even crack one open on air and take a chug. Oh. <laughs> no, he didn't. Bro. No, he didn't go fucking full anger man. Bro. Yo. You are a wild I was actually dude. talking to people out there. I'm like, yo, you listening to us. You know what I'm saying? You might be listening to us while you on air. You know what I'm saying? You pull out your can of liquid death and crack it open and take a chug. Come on, guys. You Get free it. shipping on all water and merch at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. That's liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Or grab some at Whole Foods in 7-Eleven. Now let's get back to this show. Okay, do we uh do we have church announcements? Damn right, we got some go church ahead, announcements. Go ahead, knock them out. Hey, infamous tour Vegas was so fucking crazy. Thank y'all so much for coming out, man. Um, we'll be in Louisville this Friday and then Cincinnati this Saturday. Tickets at theandrewschultz.com. Uh, also added shows, San Francisco, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Indianapolis, Boston, many more. Go to theandrewschultz.com. Get those tickets. The infamous tour and uh, some cool announcements coming up in the very near future. That's all I will say. Wax, you got any trust announcements? Yes, sir. You go to uh, whoswax.net. Make sure y'all pick up them gummies, the lemonade. Uh, my new drop coming out there. Um, This is to all the dispensaries out there in L.A., man. Y'all go ahead and get the Who's Wax flower, and I'll make sure all the people go ahead and get there. I promote and do whatever I got to do to get y'all there. But all dispensaries, I got a new drop coming this week, man. Make sure y'all grab that. Uh, on every Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we got um, a brilliant. We got Bully and the Beast. I'm sorry. When y'all look at you, I think it's brilliant. Um, Bully and the Beast, you know what I'm saying? Come out. And I got my other show, Whatever She Says. Uh, y'all go check that out. And, um, you know, we all here chilling. Word. Make sure you uh, go to blackeffect.com. Check out all the new podcasts on the Black Effect. Um, the God's Honest Truth podcast. Is available on the Black Effect. You know, the show comes on Comedy Central every Friday night at 10 o'clock, but then it comes out as a podcast on Monday morning. So make sure you subscribe to that. Uh, our latest episode for this week is Critical Racist Theory. Uh, that's that's up right now. And salute to Shadow and Act, man. Shadow and Act did a, a really dope review of uh, the God's Honest Truth from this, this past Friday. I think the headline was something like, you know, Charlemagne and the God's Honest Truth ripped the concept of critical race theory or something like that. So, I mean, that was cool to see. You know, it's cool to see people watch the show and review it and, you know, have 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 dope things to say. So, you know, every mm -hmm. Friday night, 10 p.m., The God's Honest Truth on Comedy Central. And what else? Oh, the Mental Wealth Expo. This Sunday, man, is World Mental Health Day. So from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., we'll be at the Marriott Marquis Times Square in New York City. It is a day of mental health in healing education. Everybody always wants to know, you know, where do you start, you know, on your healing journey? Like, what does that process look like? Where do you begin? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? So I've assembled, 
you know, just a bunch of different people I respect in the mental health and the mindfulness space. And man, we got different panels throughout the day. We got these different breakout rooms you can go in through, you can go into and like talk to experts about anxiety, depression, PTSD. Mm. You know, uh, we got rooms for families who are dealing with people who mm. are schizophrenic, bipolar, whatever it is, because nobody talks about that a lot. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Nobody talks about the effects of, you know, somebody's mental health on the rest of the families, yep. yeah. you know, mental health. So we got rooms specifically yeah. for that. We got rooms for people dealing with grief and it's free and open to the public, man. You know, just, you just got to be fully vaccinated because that's, you know, New York City uh, rules and regulations. But um, how you getting it? Because I am live out of state. I'm from out of state. Really? I'm yeah, I'm from out of state. And I might be vaxxed, but that's none of your business. <laughs> okay my body Facts, my motherfucking choice okay yeah. is it anybody's business if i'm vexed <laughs> all right <laughs> okay. that is funny man there's no we out here all right remember when oh that's so funny like conservatives got an issue with private businesses having mask mandates right mm -hmm. like they give pushback or like vaccination mandates uh -huh. right like if you're a private business and you just decide you want people to wear a mask in your business. You, have get, you can do that. Yeah, but they get upset at that. It's the same thing as no shoes, no shirt, no well service or whatever the fuck that shit used no to say wax. back in the day. What I think is interesting is, remember when that uh, baker didn't want to make a gay cake? The gay wedding no, cake? Oh, I didn't know that. Remember, like, and the baker was like, I'm not making that gay wedding cake. And then the same conservatives were like, well, it's his business. He's allowed to do whatever rules he wants. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, which yeah. is it? Can a private business create their own rules or can they not? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I haven't seen the pushback on private businesses. I've seen the pushback on federal mandates. And, and, you didn't see the ladies freaking out at the fucking grocery store like, you can't make me wear a mask. Da, yeah, da, da, that's da. so insane. Yeah, you know what's yeah. so funny? In the hood, you yeah, know, way, in the hood, you walk into any convenience store, it's going to be a sign that says, do not come in here with a mask on. No. <laughs> <laughs> you never, so you never seen that shit? You think I read? Yes, you, huh? You think I read? You need to. They, that right. whole, everything on that door is for you. <laughs> right. I just walk right in. Nobody say nothing to they me. Be like, Yo, they, they, <laughs> the sign will literally this. say, don't walk in here with a mask on. Because there was a time, you know, you used to wear the mask. You used to wear you the ski robbed. mask or you wear the, uh, yeah, the remember the hunter's mask? Mm -hmm. We used to wear the hunter's mask. You're like, no, don't come in here with no mask on. Now it's like, if you walk in the store, you better have a mask on. Yeah. That shit is, I don't fucking know no more. I'm just scared. Mm. All right. Well, listen, so, with the, uh, with, is there's a therapist that could be better than another therapist? What do you mean? Like, like say if I go to a therapist, somebody could be a better one to help me yeah. better than the other one. Of Especially course. for you and like what you going through. Oh, you need a new therapist? No, I'm just saying like, how can one be better than the next one? They got to ask a better question. Yeah. You, yes. know I mean? you know, somebody got a better jump shot. Yeah. More experience. Do, what about better coach? You know how some coaches yes. are better than other coaches? What's wrong with you? They know how to communicate I don't know. to the I never, players. I'm learning this thing. I went to therapy yesterday. I actually was actually good. Remember how you always tell me like Dominican women are better than black women? I'm not doing this. You never said that to me? Never ever said nothing <laughs> like this to you. <laughs> you. You never said that? And I got a Puerto Rican. You going to tell me oh, that? Oh, Puerto Rican. That's what it was. My fault. It was one of them. I was he, like, he I, I disagree. Every show, every show he needs something for <laughs> what? her. What? What? And I always disagree. But he, you never said that? I'm not doing it. I never said oh, this. Oh, okay. I what was, did, I did you say? What What are your favorite women? Therapists that make it's your obvious. mind better. So, what are your it's favorite obvious women? where wax stops in the diaspora. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's quite obvious. All right? Yo, Wax, can you just tell us what your favorite but women wax are? Wax is a wild boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking wax about. Wax went from Haiti? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? To, to the Dominican side. <laughs> to Puerto Rico. Left that island, went to Puerto yeah. Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't visit Africa once though. Nah, bro. <laughs> let them come here. <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> it's a wild boy, man. Ain't that all, fucked all up, Taylor? Time, man. Taylor, come here for a second, just real quick. Uh, <laughs> just real why quick. is it this no, cool. I just want to. I just want a black woman's opinion on this. You've known Wax for a while. What do you think about his type? And I'm not judging his type. It's what, it's what, Look, what it you love. Who you love? Yeah, you love. Who you love? I just think. If you're going to do that, I don't know why you got dreads. And <laughs> I just feel like, wow. 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 
Was that, say what you feel. Was that, say that, what you feel. Was that was a good nah, punch. Say what you feel. Like. <laughs> it's about therapy. Uh, say, say what you feel. Say what you feel. Like. Taylor, you see what Taylor happened, threw out of context. Therapy, you know Taylor just throws shit in the air so and leaves it up for interpretation. No, yeah. You shouldn't have drinks. <laughs> Wow. Just Live. Off. Like what? <laughs> hold on, come say on, what do you on, say, on, Taylor? On, yo. Dread, dreadlocks aren't the, the fact that he's stereotypical Why? black is what? what White people name? got dreadlocks too. What, what's the guy that sing that song? Braveheart like? had dreadlocks. What's up? Every culture had dreadlocks. Um, Shaggy. It wasn't me. What you was gonna say, Taylor? Justin Bieber got fucking dreads. Justin Bieber had dreads. Everybody can have dreads, Why yeah. Yo, what's wrong with dread, bro? Yeah, it's it's happy with Alvin dread. Alex, Alex, bro. Yeah. Alex. Yeah. Alex, bro. Yo, you yeah. look like you look like 21 average. <laughs> 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 21 average. Bro, that shit looks raw, bro. Hey, You're going to be good in a few years. Stop I with the hate. Hang- so. But listen, stop trying to have hang time, bro. Yeah, that shit looks sad, bro. I remember them days. Oh, it's man. coming, bro. I hated him. I, 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 it ain't coming yet, bro. You committed. <laughs> Yo, well, wow, yo, wow, yo. <laughs> Come in, yeah, this girl's crazy. Know, crazy. What? <laughs> he just said, why are they so skinny? Why are you not showing <laughs> him? He's working hard. When Jesus did you get Christ. these? <laughs> you know what? I kind of had a brush because like, I was doing it over here. Really? Yeah, I had this over here. No way. Yeah, yeah he's been trying, yo. Yeah. What happened? Who hurt you, bro? Like, what happened? You made you lock him up. What happened, man? <laughs> nah, bro, I just want to drink. Yeah. Oh, it's this. too late to say Wait. sorry. <laughs> I actually oh, started man. doing my hair, like growing it because I wanted to get away. I want nobody to see me. And I uh, remember when you had pigtails. Uh, my wife had it too. When his shit was short like Alex, he would do them two oh, little pigtails. Like I remember I knocked on his door. It's going to be really hard for you like this. <laughs> when it starts coming to your face, it's going to be really hard for you like to whoa. put it up. So whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Damn, yo. Whoa, whoa. Yo, man. You're having a rough one wow. today, boy. If you, if you hungry, eat a Snickers, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Never wow. mind, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> Listen, All this over asked about therapy. <laughs> All this asked about a therapist. No, you were saying your favorite type of woman, bro. The therapist that actually gave me the great news for my brain. Like, what do you want, though? What, what's what's up? Your therapist not doing it for you? What's no, up? I mean, it was actually good at first, and then now it was better because I, I, I did a uh, the audio one last week, and then this one I did it. But this the one, audio did, one? What do you mean? I did audio therapy. <laughs> oh, over the phone? No, I just listened to a thing. <laughs> Huh? Charlemagne, <laughs> we already what? went over this shit last week. Save, you, save yourself five minutes. Huh? Just save yourself five fucking minutes and don't pay attention to nothing that What does it mean? Right? I, what is, I had an audio, it was like an audio person. A that podcast? Talked. No, it was like an audio therapist. Like you just press play and I, because I was cursing my therapist out. I was like, yo, what the fuck is, you taking too long to talk? How would an audio therapist know what to say to you? They, no, they just talk and you talk back to it. Huh? You don't talk back to it. Yes, you do. <laughs> he talks back to it. <laughs> this is just like a self. You never talk book. back to. Him. That's what he did. He right. He, he You're listening, listening to the secret up. or something. He's <laughs> listening to fucking shook ones. You no. <laughs> <laughs> it's called. It's called respect versus love. Mm. And it's like the man. Did y'all look this shit get, up, man. The man yeah. don't get respect, so the woman don't get love. Uh, but it's like the woman don't get love she won't respect her man so, so what comes who comes first? first me but it's supposed to be the man come first oh, no, bro, you I was listening met, to an audio met, book I come first this that is Love and Respect by Dr. Emerson Egerich yep yeah. it's an audio book yep. well, it's not I no therapy. It therapy I was talking back to it so it's therapy mm. I think respect is more I think respect is more important than love very much important but no no it gotta go both ways it's not It's not. So, I need well, to be what, respected but what's first what do you mean you respect each other equally so that's what I'm saying. So you respect no the love that, come but, with it, right? No. Respect comes, I think the love can come after the respect because you have to respect somebody enough to even grow in love with them. Mm. Respect got to come first. If I love you, I'm just automatically respect you. No. 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 Respect got to come first because everything's about respect, right? Like, there's people I respect, respect that I don't love. Like, there's people who stand up for themselves in a way I think is really cool. I respect it, but I don't love them. <laughs> yes. Like and, and, and respect, you got to respect people enough to be in your space. A woman got to respect you enough to allow you in her body. You got to respect yourself enough to sleep with this woman. You know what I mean? Like, it's, respect is way, respect got to be the foundation. I respect LeBron for saying what he said. I don't love him. 
I don't even know that. You don't know him to love him. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when you're in love, when you're when you grow to love somebody, it's rooted in respect. You have to respect somebody to have sex with them? No. No. <sighs> That's what he said. No, you don't. How about I say, because I might respect you okay. to have sex with you, but I'm not, I don't have to love you to have no, sex with no, you. No, you don't, but you should. No, because you never had sex with a woman who was cheating on her husband or something. You're like, I don't respect that. I don't at respect all. that shit. Nah, so don't that's, love that's it either, all the reason though. you shouldn't have slept with her. And you let all of that negative energy go into you. No, he put no. it in her. No. Yeah. <laughs> he Listen, put it back. Not. I guarantee yeah. <laughs> you that all of that negative energy is transferred into you because that ain't nothing but hurt and pain. No, but man, the man, the man is releasing. The man, the man released. No, maybe you man. release. Maybe you absorb. Maybe, it, maybe your little penis hole opens up like that and then it comes in. That's why condoms. Maybe you get nutted. So you don't get no connection. Oh, there's nobody you encounter. Oh, that's why I said you can never catch feelings if you never if felt you wear it. A that's condom. a lie. There's that's nobody. Fire. There's nobody you encounter that you've never had an energy transfer with. Even that person you was talking about cutting somebody off in the car, that's the energy if transfer. If you go raw. Anytime. If you go, go, not, not, if you have a condom, you're anytime, not going to get that man. in. How's it going to go in you? Yes. How? Because you're, you're laying on top cables? of a person. You and a person are communicating. Y'all breathing on, on each other. Who's laying on top? That, that's like having battery cables and touch the thing. If it don't spark, y'all ain't got shit. Oh, it's stop. Good. That's not true. Put a condom over the battery cable. You say what? It's all energy transfer. You, there's nobody you meet that you don't have an energy transfer That's with. not true. Impossible. Impossible. I've met people. Yo, you can walk on an elevator right now and not speak to a person. That person could be I in a bad mood. I can feel it. And you'll feel it. I feel it. Immediately. But Y'all gotta be can more you hold your energy in. Or yeah, what if you got your headphones in and you're listening to a dope song and you don't even pay attention to that? You already know. I, I did that. That happened to me yesterday. I got on the elevator mm -hmm. and uh, the woman had the headphones on and I said, hello. She ain't say nothing in response, but I could hear her music. Right. I didn't take it personal. I just know that. This woman was listening to her music loud. So she's not even paying me no attention. Or she turned it up her. louder when she saw you because she didn't want to see you. But I can tell you where the energy transfer happened. The energy transfer is she don't want to be bothered. And Period. I felt that. You felt that. You know that. I uh, felt that. Yeah. Immediately. It's early in the morning. Yeah. She probably turned her shit on loud because yeah. she on the elevator <laughs> with somebody else. And it could yeah. be all just in my brain. Uh, yeah. But either way, it was an energy transfer. I didn't take it personal. You know what I mean? But everything is an energy transfer. Oh, it's no, impossible. When I, when I get home and I know Carl's in a good mood, a bad mood, just by... You know, body language, just by, you know, I feel the energy in a whole house. Oh, I'll be like, okay, today is garage day. You and you'll just hang out in the garage? Or you make her go the to the garage? No. <laughs> the garage. This guy's is my garage. Garage. This guy's wild. Get in the garage! This guy's wild. I'm not dealing with this mood today. Yeah, yo, she gonna go to the garage. I gotta take care of the baby. Why she in the garage? No, I... That's you my, gotta stop that's putting your spot. girl in the garage, bro. I'm in the, I'm in the garage. That's crazy, that? man. I'm not hey, playing. He's got, got a car, in bro. There, dog. No. <laughs> Come on. Her name is Carl. Her name is Carl. Is that Spanish for car? Is that Spanish for car? <laughs> Put the Carla in the garage. <laughs> no matter how long you stand in that garage, you will never be a car, Carla. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Wax, well, you're crazy, bro. You, you, you got to stop that, wild man. Moves, Let her stay in the room or something like that. No, nah, the garage is my thing. You know what I'm saying? When I right. know the house, it ain't just, you know, so sunny. Yeah. Just, all right. Just Do let you me know love, food ready. You just love garages? Now I go in the garage. I got my workout gear in there. I got mm -hmm. little stuff and I got my little smoke section. I'm chilling in the garage. Listen, all I know is everything is rooted in respect. I bet yes. you when you come out on a stage, you acknowledge the crowd. Right? Yes. You say, what's up to the crowd? How are y'all? Yes. Go out there and be like, go out there and be like, I want y'all to love me like y'all love dead rappers. <laughs> and watch, <laughs> so watch, 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 watch the disrespect, disrespect come back to you a hundred times over. Okay, <laughs> Pluto, our God, Damian Limit. I love you, Damian. I just I love you. I'm really tired of this shit. But huh? He gotta be. He tired gotta of be, bro. Yeah, he was, God man. Damian did man. the what the other day, and. Like he did the what when when Nala and Mouse was doing the what and 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 uh, Mouse introduced them boy. I ain't like that. Come on, you talk doing to me. Like Don't like do that, that to Damon, man. man. You, you started it, but I was dead. Yeah. <laughs> we lived that. That's what I'm <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That like was secondhand that. smoke. Mouse was in there. With it. We was dead. No, that's third hand we smoke. was left right, man. That was years ago. <laughs> we lived through that era, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll never forget that day as long as I fucking live. Okay, <laughs> I'll never forget that day, man. Yo, when I do the garden, one of these days. Ain't no one of these days. When you do the garden next year and sell it out, guys. All right, when I do the garden next year and sell it out, Damien Lemon, 
You got to come to that show and you got to do a spot. To. You got to have your redemption. Damien is a Please beast. You got to have your redemption because he's a, he's a funny he mother. He is hilarious. Man. Like Dame Damon. is hilarious. I'm I, I'm mad I don't be seeing Damon. Like I'm I'm just gonna text Damon today. Matter of fact, just to hit him up. What's just up, to be bro? like, yo, what's kid? What's up, good? What's good, King? I ain't see Damon forever. Yo, 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 Text Damon right what now. Is <laughs> picture of a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just say I just saw a white person with a pit bull. I'm in New York, saw the white person with a pit bull. Fucked up. Text Damon on Halloween. Like, hey man, just thinking about you, man. <laughs> Walking around seeing all these ghosts going boo. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of boo size. I love Damon, though. He's a good dude, man. Oh, we ain't talk about Sage still. Okay, let's talk about Sage, man. Um, what'd you think? Uh, successful white woman in America, man. Like, <laughs> Shut up, man. Let, her, let her live her truth, bro. Can you not let her live her truth? Who is that? Sage Steele, one of the greatest white women in history, dog. A true white oh, Nubian queen. Man. I'm not gonna lie, though. I was this whole exchange that she she was on Jay Cutler's podcast. Uh, this whole exchange did make me wonder what does Sage still identify as? Because I saw her. She told you. She did? Yeah. I only saw the clip, so I don't know. Click, click go scroll down, um, Alex or Taylor. There you uh, go. Scroll down some more. There you go. There you go. No, That's not it. that one. It wasn't that one. Scroll down some more. What is she? Black, white, Spanish? I think she, she's, I think they said she's like, I, don't, I know she's black and white, but I don't black know if it's and white. white. I think it's like Italian or something like that. Uh, but it, you're, it, it, you're talking about the one where she... Her she, comments on Barack Obama. She was basically saying how she doesn't understand why Barack Obama identifies a, as black. A friend of hers asked her, like, what are you going to put on the census or something like that, white or black? And she's like, well, I don't identify as either one of those because she's mixed. And then she, the, her friend was like, well, Barack Obama put black. And she's like, well, I think that's peculiar that he was raised by his white mom and his white grandmother and his black dad was nowhere to be found, yet he identifies as black. Mm -hmm. And so she was kind of taking some shots. And that being said, I think a lot of like what creates your identity is not pe not how you personally identify, but like how people treat you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because exactly. you start to understand their struggle. Like I live a black life. You live a black life. Like yeah. I'm not Jewish. But please believe people in my DMs oh, here you go. do Money. not like, they, if they don't like Jews, they're telling me. Yeah, because they yeah. think you you're Jewish. this and this. Yeah. So I got to deal with all the anti-Semitism, just yeah. like I'm sure Barack and had Barack to deal with racism. A lot of black stuff. Exactly. Yes. So, can, can we hear it, Taylor? Um, when you fill out your census, I'm like, well, I don't know when the last time I filled out my census was, but yeah. if they make you choose a race, yeah. she's like, what are you going to put? And I go, well, both. She's like, well, you can't. He goes, well, what about Barack Obama chose black and he's biracial? I'm like, well, congratulations to the president. That's his thing. I go, I think that's fascinating consider, considering his black dad was nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma raised him. But hey, mm -hmm. you do you. Do I'm going to do me. Now. First of all, very unpatriotic. Very unpatriotic to not fill out your census. That's number one. You know what I mean? Very, very irresponsible. I would expect more from some someone someone of her stature. You yeah. filled it out? Uh, yes, we fill out the you census. You just do what the government tells you? Yeah. <laughs> Get vaccinated. I, I might be. How you know you? Huh? Bitch, I might be. Whoa. <laughs> you just saying the B word? No, that's how Gucci made. You never just heard, saying the you B word. Heard that song, bitch, I might be. Oh bitch, my I God. might be. You just saying the oh, B word. Oh, you backed up. Bitch, I might be. <laughs> bitch, I might be. You never heard that song? Yes, I have many a time. You should come out the stage on that. That should be hard. That's, that is my opening yeah. song. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what the fuck she's trying yeah, to she's say. She's corny. Well, that's corny. I don't even know what she's trying to say because. Barack Obama has a black father. Uh, Barack Regardless Obama has a white mother. Regardless of if his, his black dad was there or not, he's a black man. Maybe she's saying that there's like a uh, cultural component to who you are. And no, that's just not true, though. You don't yeah. think so? No. How you get treated? Not, not, I mean, not when it comes to matters of race. Because guess what? I can think I'm white as shit. Right up. Mm -hmm. That don't mean I'm going to get treated like that. Hell no. <laughs> you know no I, 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 I'm and saying, a white person can think they black as shit. That don't mean they can say the N-word. A hundred percent. Like, I guess yeah. what I'm trying to say is like, uh, there are many things that make up your identity. One is like your experience in the world. And then two is your experience at home and like how you identify. But not when it comes to the census. Now, what she should have <laughs> said is there should be biracial on the census. Yes. I agree with that. That should be the check. You know what I mean? That yeah. should be the conversation. Not there's, there's uh, so yeah. many mixes not, out here though. How many mixes you going to have? But that's why you just put into biracial. You know what's funny though is like, she might have been this this is interesting like this type this type of behavior 
might have been inspired by her interactions with not white people, but black people. She might have been looked at as not black enough around her black community. And because of that, start to go, well, OK, if I'm not accepted by them, I'm going to gravitate towards the people who accept me. So a lot of times, like when you're pushing back against something that you are, it often is the community itself that has rejected you. You know, like I have friends that like, like I, my buddy, when I, when I lived in Spain, he was, he was half Cameroonian, half Spanish, right? He was born in Spain, Mm -hmm. but the Spanish people didn't see him as Spanish. So he just decided his identity was African. It was, it was from Cameroon. It was Cameroonian. He went back to Cameroon. What do you think they thought he was? Spanish. 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 Uh-huh. So like you're in this weird space where you never are one and you never get to be whole. And well, guess I, what? I understand that. Sage Steel is a black woman. And I'm sure she's biracial, but yeah. she presents as a black woman. Barack Obama's a black man. Uh-huh. J. Cole is a black man. Drake is a black no. Canadian man. You don't get to decide. So what about my they, son? But they present that way, though. I present them as white now. <laughs> man, shut up. So what about my son? I'm my son is black or Puerto Rican. Say again? Definitely Puerto Rican. Why? I've seen him. I'm more black though. No, nah, no, nah, your son's Puerto Rican, bro. No, he's no. Puerto Rican. Oh, I'm here. He's Puerto Rican. He already, well, he already knows. No, so that means he's black. half Puerto Rican, half black, like Alex. Yeah, but if I was, if I'm around, oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. around. So I got now he's more black. Alex, what are you? What do you consider yourself? Uh, I probably lean closer to black. Lean closer to black. I mean, like way. just because I had more he's experiences of being black. Yeah, you don't need to grow dreads then. What you mean? Mm, <laughs> you wow. said you, <laughs> Why don't you start, wow. Roger? I don't, like how, <laughs> I, I don't like how you said lean closer to black. No, yeah, yeah. because you black. But yes I've, no. But I've also had Puerto Rican experiences. Like I had all the rice and beans growing up, dancing mm. salsa, house parties. That's all that, all that makes you Puerto Rican. I mean, I'm just naming the stuff you would know about. Yeah. But, I, is Puerto Rican on the census? Say than, what? Is Puerto Rican on the census? Sure. Uh, no, I think it's also it's like. African with some Latin mix. Or yeah, something yeah, like that. yeah, So yeah, the, the tricky yeah. thing, we're talking about two different things right now. We're talking about like what race you are and like what culture you are. You can be a white Puerto Rican. Yeah. You can be a black mm. Puerto Rican. So like Al is black. Like obviously we're looking at him. We can tell that he has black in him, of course. Yeah, you get pulled over, he's going to have trouble. But I think what you're also talking about is like culturally black and culturally Puerto Rican. Yeah. And you've had both of those experiences. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because the beans? census isn't about culture. No, his mother is Puerto Rican. Like but I have rice and beans at the house all the time. You so think that I? your kid not going to be a little Puerto Rican with Carla raising all the and time? No, no, not a little Puerto Rican. Your kid is half Puerto Rican. Yeah. Right? I get Culture what is passed down through the mother, bro. It's like whatever the mom is is what you're going to be. That's right. No. The mother raises oh, no. the kid. Oh, I think yeah. it's both. It's I think it's dad. both. No, no, whatever it's the dad is the dominant gene. The dad is the dominant gene. Culture. I'm not talking about genes. I'm talking about culture. Culture is always passed down from the woman, yo. Oh no, no, no! I, now that yeah. I, women dictate th- no, no. culture, I, I, I would, I will say, I think I, I tend to agree with that. Yeah, because you're, you're with your mom more. You're with your mom. Yeah, you're with your mom more. I tend to agree with that. All the time, like your mother dictates your behavior. I tend to agree with that. Dictates everything. But that's why I say, I guess. patriarchy was some shit that a motherfucker really had. When they say patriarchy is man made, literally, a man had to make that to have order. A man made it, and women enforced it. Uh, explain. Men make the culture. Women keep on continuing it. Yeah, but it's I think like, I think by nature, this is the I, rules, I, I think by nature, know. patriarchy is just not. It's just not a hey, natural thing. Hey, hey, hey! Kids follow the mom. Men bro. are like, yo, I want to get tons of pussy. Women have a son. What do they say? Go out there and get tons of pussy, son. No, I yeah, want to make sure that son, you get tons of pussy. But that son follows a woman from day one. So, ladies, stop promoting the culture you hate. I don't know where we at right now. I'm, I'm over here like, number one, I don't know what the hell that point. P word I'm is. I'm saying, women pass on a culture. This is what they do. This is, it is absolutely amazing. They have the closest connection I to I think children, children lean towards of mama and grandma do. more. Of course they, they do. Yes. So stop passing, do. stop passing down the shit that you don't want to see. But the reality is, uh-uh. no woman wants their kid to be a simp. If you got a son, you want your kid to be out there busting them down. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you don't. Yes, no, you do. No, you don't. I mean, you, you get some type I, of no, you I don't. Four girls, so you don't know. You have one boy, you want uh, him tearing but, but, through. But, but, <laughs> but, but time out. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you why that's not true. I got a mom. Say and you know what my mom did when she caught me with Playboy? Flip the fuck oh, out. Yo, yeah, no, she didn't want you with magazine. She wants you with real girl. No. Stop being a loser. No, she flipped out. And I remember her going to my dad. And we was in a single wide trailer. So I could hear the whole conversation. She went to my dad in the kitchen and was like, look what I found him with today. And my dad was like, you want me to go punish him? Because he's looking at 
women. Mm-hmm. Like he, he's like he's like, yo, I'm glad he's looking at the Playboy. <laughs> so I, I listened to that whole conversation. My mom was not pleased. But there's also um, a religious component there. Your, your I don't think so. You don't no, think Carl your mom don't being like religious had anything I, I, to do with it? Every time I see my son, I said, well, my boy going to get a lot of pussy. She's like, don't play with me. He ain't going to get nothing. I ain't playing with that. All right, we'll see. We'll see. she don't like that. Carla? Yeah, mothers don't like real, that. Mom Carla. don't like that. Mom don't like that. I'm, so, I'm sure she'd be happy. I don't know if she know my son is the man. I'm sure my mom knowing I was the man, like, I don't think she was upset that. I know she'd be upset if I couldn't get nobody. Well, she she gonna teach him how to dance so he knows how to dance at the parties. If my mom knew I couldn't get nobody, listen, that's a, that hurt. But listen, what's the... Where's the logic of a woman being happy their son is a womanizer? Your no, mom hates no, no, no. you for that. No, 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 no. You're right. But your I'm mom saying, be on your ass on, about so, that. But, but, but what if Why I can't get a prom date? tell these girls? No, she, I won't give them the I know life. my son. Don't come to me crying. Yep. No, she, for she, real, she, side. She, for she real. Did. But if my mom knew I couldn't even get a, a prom date, she she'd be, be really upset. She's all heartbroken, man. But that's as, different. As much as I don't want my daughter to have sex or nothing, I want my my, my wife, my daughter to have a prom date. But I don't think that's because she wants you to be with a woman or anything else. I think that's just because that's just sad if your child can't get a prom date. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's just nobody, sad. Will you, will you, Can you like imagine? Why nobody? Why none of the girls like you, son? Can you exactly? That's so we sad. Got, we got. We both are responsible, and I think we both need to be accountable. And if we don't like the culture, then we both got to change it together. But we can't just keep going like, oh, the patriarchy's bad. Stop being like this. And then, ladies, you expect the same thing from your sons when you have them. And like men, we expect the same thing from the daughters. Like when we have a daughter, what do we all say? I'm not letting nobody fuck my daughter. Nobody. It's like that's sexist, too. If your daughter wants to go out there, like, listen, we was fucking people's daughters. Why? Yes. Was we not? Well, what's the point? We understand that. But my my mom wasn't saying, go out there and get it, son. That was your original argument. Your original argument was your parents, they're, they're, your mom wants you to go out there and get nah. that boom No, nah, no, nah, but there are moms that they they turn a blind eye to the patriarchal behavior of their kids, but they will judge that patriarchal behavior of even their husband. They'll judge it of other men. Oh, my that dad was like me. There. Exa- but, but all of a sudden, their son, it's like, oh, he's just wild. He just goes out there and yeah. fucks a lot of girls. Like your dad was absolutely go, like Go, you. Al. <laughs> no, I hope not. <laughs> How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mama, one one woman though. I'm just saying he liked it as much as you did. Maybe I was out there. I was Charlie. Come on, ain't not too long ago I was out here wilding. I was. You think my daddy was like me? Wait, yes. What? Yo, what were you? What were you look, gonna look, say? Look, think about it. So uh, I have a sister. She's two years older than me. When I was bringing girls home in high school, my sister was getting slapped for talking to boys in high school. Like she created she a time. different, she yeah, created but, but, a different set of standards, and I'm two years younger. But, but was I your could, mom telling you, Alex, God didn't get all the pussy no, you can? But I mean, they she was allowing me they to allowed talk to girls, yeah. but not allowing no, my sister you, to talk you, to boys. No, why? Because you ain't fine. got no baby. Why is that fine? Yeah, that's, that's not that's fine. What I'm that's, that's what, what he said. It's not fine. It's no, that's not what he said. What he said was, your mom is out there slapping you on the cheeks while you out there getting some pussy. No, but that's no. also encouraging the behavior like, oh, it's fine for me to talk to as many girls as I want in high school, but it's not okay for my sister to even talk to a single boy in high school. I, because We're all responsible what is what I'm trying to say. Is yeah. It's I not just, it. it's very easy for girls to I just go like, sure. oh, the patriarchy, man, stop this shit. You stop raising the kids the way you don't like. If, if you don't want next generation of men to be like that, don't raise them well, that the way. Thing about, let, me, let me be <laughs> clear about what I'm saying about patriarchy. Sorry, I just mom, don't think you. patriarchy is natural. <laughs> only because... Yes, we you know women and men we come together we 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 fertilize and we have the baby she carries the baby for yes. nine months literally from the time that child is a fetus the mother leads literally for all yes. of us it was and, like that until the for, father then you find up like damn he's just like his dad he always he's just like his dad his mm-hmm. dad used to do the exact same thing it's going to come from your dad but your mom in the beginning of course no you your mom, by the way your, your mom, mom throughout the whole life. You yes. still scared of your mom to this day. Am, your mom probably <laughs> the only person <laughs> that right. can stop you from doing something Anything. right now to this day. Right when, now. You're, when, when mama walk in the room, you straighten up. Straighten up right when now. When the dude walk in the room, you sizing them up. Like, what's up? I get that's, a, that's a general. But you end up You straighten up like when the general dad, comes in the house. So if the mm-hmm. general has that like much it. control, then stop rewarding the behavior that you don't want to see. My that's mom wasn't rewarding it. She just, I was like my dad. You know what I'm saying? Right, you won't right, be right, like right. your dad, but your mom know who your dad is, so she like, let me try to get you in the right way. Right. Yeah, that's her job, but she right. like, ah, fuck it. He like his dad. He's gonna be out here getting all his fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that's why me and him not together. Cause he'll not but think about that. No think about shit. what you just said. No the mom is like, you just like your daddy. You ain't gonna be shit to none of these women. You ain't gonna do shit. You gonna hold just like your dad. That's, she's not happy about that. 
but he's not happy about you out here swinging that between, dick. There's a difference between not being happy and there's a difference Except between that. disciplining that. Yes. And I think what happens is we often turn a blind eye to the actions of our kids if they go, even if they go against the things that they're trying to fight against within our generation. And we love our kids and we don't want our kids to suffer. The reality is we don't want our kids to not have a prom date. So yes, the, what please. we what we risk with that is our kid being a fuck boy. But we'd rather our kid be a fuck boy than a school shooter. I'm taking fuck boy. Right, like, yeah, for a school I'm taking, yeah. I'm taking fuck boy. I don't want a fuck boy. I'm taking a no. square. No, nah, I want to athlete. What, what, what we like, used to call like square my, back in the day? Yeah. I, give me that. I'll take that all day I, long. I'll take a wax all over again. Because guess what? All the nerds, all the cool kids working for the nerds now. Facts. You know what I mean? All the I cool was, kids. I was cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? I was dope, girl. <laughs> I was fucking that. Nah, you was I a was, nerd, was, bro. Yo, I, I, honestly, I ain't gotta read. all the cool kids are not working for all the nerds. There's like two all nerds. All my nerds is crack, was crackheads and pillheads right now. Mm. All these smart motherfuckers who was... Bro, uh, you had pigtails. Man, he's lying. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you, you, I'm had, pill you had pigtails, pigtails bro. You just heard, you heard you pills. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me a guy with pigtails ain't a nerd, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I went, to those, had, I went to those classes. My fucking class was in the cafeteria until I was like in 11th grade and 12th grade. By the way, if out. we're being honest with the thugs were the nerds. Like, <laughs> like, we, like the thugs really were the nerds, bro. Like okay. the thugs were the people that we should have really been telling, like, you just gonna end up in jail or dead any goddamn way. That's who we really should have been clowning. Like, we should have never acted like that that's thug they, shit they, was cool. No, but that's what they were telling me. Yeah, but they're thugs. So it's hard. That's <laughs> 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 right, right. People come fuck like, you up. Yeah, like, we wanted to say that. Yeah, yeah, the the yeah, let them be. Let them be. Let them be. Yeah. Let them be. Let them be. <laughs> but they actually was very smart because we knew how to do numbers. My my numbers game was crazy. I was so I was too smart for school. You know what I'm saying? That's literally what it was. It was like, yeah, probably. I, I, I got 12 brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe he knows numbers and he can't get his pants size right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to believe. You don't know numbers. You're clearly a 38 in the waist, but you come in here with a 34 every goddamn week. There's no way you know numbers. You believe you know numbers for real? Seriously? It's just the whole, I don't know, man. It's hard. I, I still put it aside of me and go. Wait, no time for that shit. <laughs> Got to go in the fucking woman's dressing room and shit. Why would you go in the woman's dressing room? Men don't have dressing rooms at the fucking places. Yes, huh? they do. That's not for just for women. <laughs> I never knew that shit was for men. You never knew that there was men's dressing rooms? I never knew that shit was for men. Ever. Put this next to you. Put your shoes on right there and go. In his defense, he's only bought four pair of pants in his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> in all his years of existence, he's only been in department shit. stores about four times. They don't allow me to go. Okay. As soon as Jesus. I go, Lost Prevention right on me. I already know. As soon as I walk in, I was waving at the camera. What up, man? Well, number one, you're in the wrong section. You're in the woman's yeah, section. That's a, that's number that's two, everything you're picking up is not your size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. You look suspicious, Wax. All right? Yeah, I get it. What? Oh shit! Wow! <laughs> oh shit! Damn, Miss Lady! Oh you shit! Call you got on Miss Lady pants? <laughs> <laughs> you got on Miss Lady sweats, yo? Oh, Damn, Lord. yo! I got the wrong ones today. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Let's pay some bills. I gotta piss. Man. Let's do it. All right, guys, we gonna take a break for a second because you need to step up your digital presence. Okay. You saw what happened with Facebook and all these other companies going out of business or not going out of business, but being shut down for a few days. What if your business was only existing over there? Then you'd be fucked. That's why you need your own website, okay? Domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools, all that you can get through Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging, publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of. Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes and get to know your audience with their analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on the site, audience geography, and more. It's all so simple too. Look, Start with a design template and use and drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website, Taylor, and online store, Taylor, comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that can help maximize prominence among search results. These SEO tools are paramount. So head to squarespace.com slash idiot 
for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash IDIOT with the offer code IDIOT for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. All right, right? we back. Um, Uh, We about to do some Asking Idiot. Wax was in here talking about how he hates uh, breastfeeding. No, I did not. What did you say? I love breastfeeding. My son continues to breastfeed till he's one years old. I just think it's a problem with women just pulling their breasts out if, if there's somewhere else to go. Now, if there's nowhere else to go, we like I said, we're in a DMV or something like that, and you got to pull the thing over, cover yourself, all, all good. But if there's other places for you to go for not make your man uncomfortable and other people uncomfortable, regardless if you think it's not. What about your child different? that need to eat? Yeah, you got bottles. What do you think bottles is for? What if you don't have bottles? What we if you're did. breastfeeding? That's what I'm trying to tell you. We have and you know bottles. what? That's, what, that's what I be saying when I say men are so selfish because when you breastfeed, a woman's breasts fill up and they get if hard the and they case, hurt. We, so, we so, that, so that's, why, that's why. That's why. If you notice, sometimes your son probably will be sleeping. And, and, Carl, like, and Carl will be ah, like, I oh, my God, I, like I can't rock. wait for him to wake up. Yeah, he looks like a rock. No, I'm waking him up. Actually, it's, I feel a rock. So let her... Just sit let, there and do... And look, that's, that's what you got case. breast covers for. You got the covers and everything. You got the baby under the cover. Like and Yeah, that's for when there's nowhere else to go. And that's when you got other people in the car and my baby hungry right now. Yes. I don't care. What, like, if you're in a restaurant, woman wants to breastfeed at the table, do your thing. I don't care. I saw Uma Thurman's titty once. Where at? See how you remember that? How long ago was that? That was decades ago. Thank you. But and you remember because it's Uma Thurman. That was a you, famous tit. Exactly. Dude. You know how many times you've Holly. walked by? I don't know who that is. You know how many times you walked by Actress. women breastfeeding and didn't even pay it no attention? No, yeah. I usually pay attention. I've never paid it attention. <laughs> a lot of people pay his attention. <laughs> never. No, I do. No. I usually go like this. I'll be like, oh shit. Like that. I'll do a double take. Yeah, yeah. Sickle. Put the titty up way if you can. If you can. Y'all sound like With stone girls, no, cold never, men. Why you saying y'all? Oh, well, <laughs> never, you do what you ever, did too, though. I look at tits. Let your baby, yeah. never, I, ever let your baby starve. What? Never let, you, let your baby be hungry. You but see a titty before things, they start drinking. You know what kind of pervert a person is they to walk there, by and see a woman breastfeeding and get turned on by that? Well, who's getting there, turned Charlotte? on? There's you just said you there. look at tits. I look at tits no, all the time. Context, I don't get turned but on. But you still have seen a tit, though. Before I see the baby start drinking out of the tit. You see the nipple. Nobody does that. It's hot. Nobody. First of all, nobody does that. By the way, it's hot. What do you mean? Nobody does that. They don't just whip out and put the bait. Like no, no. my boy just told me that early. I mean, I think if you don't, this is not your first time. I think you should have bottles ready. If your breast too hurt in a certain time, they got other places for you to go. They make sure I don't care if you got to go in the car and breastfeed your baby. I don't care if other places. Now, if there's nowhere to go, you stand in line. You don't want to miss your place in line. Yo, get the cover and do your thing. What if there's no cover? What if you just pop that city out? And get hopefully, it hopefully there's a place that you go there and and breastfeed your baby in the. What's not the big deal everybody? about a pregnant woman's titty being in public? I don't get it's that. A Thank out. you. It's a titty out. We look this until we see the kid. So we look until we see the kid start sucking on the tit, and then we're like, oh, okay, that's a private. I'm thing. not looking in. We not. We don't, Charlotte. Nah. We are there. First of all, first of all, titties in public. I don't get hard. That's crazy. This, this, this what y'all act like. Y'all act, get hard. Y'all act like women are doing this. Babies in the carriage. Let me whip my titty out so titty's hanging there. Then I'm going to reach down and pick baby up. They do. Then put baby. No, they don't. They already got the baby in their hand. Hey, nah, you got to get the nipple no, hard. No, they don't. Y'all don't have it. I didn't see it. The nipple's already hard. I didn't see it. I'm living this right yeah, now. Me like, too. Like, that's nah, what I'm trying that's, to tell no, you. stop. That's not what I happens. I don't want the titty out. I probably I get mad at me you all you want to. you never seen them do that shit? Listen, no. That don't happen. Never hungry. Listen, if there's a place that you can go, I'm saying, try to go to the place. If there if there's nowhere to no. go, feed the baby. I don't want my I don't want my I don't want my child getting breastfed in some public restroom. You never you know seen a girl I, feed the kid the with both Me tits either. at the same time. That's never happened. You've never nah. seen them squeeze the tits no. together. And they, nah, that's just never happened. Listen, you've never I, seen I them like the them froze either. pops that were stuck. I want them in a place. If I knew there wasn't ever a place at all, I won't say nothing. But if there is a place for you to go, I expect you to go to that place. I don't want them in the bathroom <laughs> while my child is feeding. You don't eat in the bathroom, so why would you want your child to eat in the bathroom? Whoa. Oh, okay, that's Good possible. Good point. You right? Good but ass go somewhere point. else. Like I said, I suck titties where? In the bathroom Outside? Before. Like, where you want to go? They got the go? vehicle out there. Like I said, me, I can get you to go in one of these back rooms or I use this motherfucker office if I, before your titty come out in this place. Why is the titty coming out? If you have a drapery or something like that, you can put it under that. And by the way, you act like people can't walk by the car. And see the person in the car. If you yeah. walk past and why the breastfeed is a fucking problem, and we can tend it up, so no, we okay. Huh? The truck so I'm in a restaurant tents? in the parking lot. I'm just walking through the parking lot. It's still the truck is tinted. You're not seeing in there. I might be walking to the front. 
I might be walking fr- past the front. If you see the a hood. titty, if you see her up in there breastfeeding, you want to see the titty. Same thing if the person's in the restaurant. I like to see tits. I, so you want to look? Y'all some sick people. A lot I of like people want to look, Charlotte. Context just, like matters. Said, if you can, I'm listen, not going out my way. But if I see a tit, I'm going to look. If I see a kid sucking on it, I'm not going to look. Titty. But if there's a moment where there's tit and no kid sucking, I'm going to look at that. Any second, if it's, even if it's one second, that's all I need. That's all a lot of people need. I don't want it to. That's why I say get out the way. That's all I'm asking. Listen, my whole life is all about being preventative. It's not about, yo, when something happens, let's take control. So you're trying my to prevent your thing... child from eating? Nah, man, what are you talking that's about? What you that's, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying, yo. You're you preventing your child from eating, yo. You're preventing your child from eating, yo. Kid is hungry. You're preventing your child from eating. When you're ready to eat, you eat, right? And no matter where they right bring there. the food to you. Yeah, food yeah, is right you know there. Right there. Why is my family crazy. just... Yeah, I hear me say if there's no other place to go, you go ahead and do your thing. I heard you say yeah. that your child don't eat unless he's in the right place, right time, yeah. which I think is so disrespectful. That's not cool. To your you child. didn't hear that. You're a woman. You did not hear that. That's exactly what we heard. I think that you're insecure. Yo, they don't have a shirt. For a fucking titty. Hot insecurity. Everything's insecure with her. But the... <laughs> <laughs> Everything is insecure. I've seen this guy. I've seen this guy. I've seen this guy get head in parking lots. He didn't care about his dick being out. (laughs) He didn't care about what that woman, that woman getting seen back in the day. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? You never got your dick sucked in a parking lot? I seen you have sex in cars. You never had sex in, the, in, a in car? strip club parking lots. In a strip club. Everybody watching. Wax putting on the show. He's smiling. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. You look, I got my Tim's on. <laughs> look at me. I don't know what the hell are you talking about. Look at me. Now all of a sudden, he, wor- now all of a sudden he worried about <laughs> Carla's breast being out. Knock it off. This guy here. Let's do some Asking Idiots. Yeah. Taylor gang. It's going to be hell to pay now. Carla get on his ass. He don't like you giving that coquito up in public. No, I don't. No, it's legit. <laughs> it's it's legit. I'm learning Spanish. <laughs> what asking idiots we Yo, got, man? How much bigger do titties get when you're pregnant? Oh, man. They get full. Really? Way yeah, bigger? Yeah, they get way bigger. Yeah, like a whole full. size or two sizes? Like an like apple to a watermelon. What? Yeah, it's not a watermelon. It's not like a, a apple tip. Pear. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. This is asking an idiot. Saf- Sapphire Livings. What did that say? That's what that say. Sapphire Livings. For those of us who have, for those of us who have no filters, how do you work on controlling your verbal response that may cause awkward moments? Mm. I always act like everything's a joke. <laughs> that don't work no more. <laughs> Shit. Them jokes be hurting. Them jokes be cutting. It's like, I mean, just like, yo, measure twice to cut once. That's all. I was only playing. And, like, and, come on, you got mad off that? And just make sure you, I mean, go back up to that question. <laughs> oh, you saying Yeah, just measure twice to cut once. That's all. You know what I mean? Like, make sure that your response is not an emotional one. You know, make sure that your response is something that, you know, you're actually trying to either up, up, elevate the conversation. Or, you know, if somebody says something you don't like, give it to them straight. Mm. You know what I mean? Just tell like, yo, I didn't appreciate what you just said. Yeah. And I think that's always a good way to start because when they say, what do you mean you don't appreciate it? Now you can have a conversation. Mm. You know what I mean? If you just, if somebody says something you don't like, you was like, what the fuck is you talking about? Whatever, just, I don't appreciate what you just said. Especially if that's your people, if that's your friend. You know, if, if y'all just in the street and it's just some random... You should just be careful because you don't know what the fuck that might person knows. In your mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They might know what I can't do. Uh, no need to ask Schultz about filters. That's just a pointless question. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was only playing. What else we got, Taylor? What's that, my manky? I mean, question forever. What's your morning routine? Oh, this is a good one. I like this one. Stargaze. 616, Andrew, excluding yourself in the legends, who do you think are the best five, the five best comedians currently out? Dylon, 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 and Dylon. No. <laughs> yeah. um, so excluding the, the legends, obviously excluding Dave Chappelle, excluding, excluding Chris Rock, Bill Burr, like those people. Those are legends to me. Like, who are like, who are like the five young comics out that are, you yeah, who, check who, out? who's the ones? Who the ones y'all like? Who are everybody talking about besides you? Who are your favorite five? Akash Singh, Mark Gagnon, Shane Gillis. Um, trying to say, I'm trying to think like young people that 
are part of the squad that are absolutely just hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Is it Akash, Mark, uh, Shane. Shane. I'm trying to think, but people that they don't, that they might not know. That's fine. Oh, Ronnie Chang is yeah, hilarious. Who, who, I mean, he's big now, but it? like you, some people might not know him. Yeah, I yeah. fucking who love the guy Ronnie. That was that the thing who killed it? <laughs> That's Bill Burr. He's not. Oh, I don't he's a legend. He's a legend. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm trying to give you like some the, the next this guy is fucking hilarious. class, man. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> first time I ever heard this guy's fucking hilarious. The biggest Who's comic on the planet. Who's this light skin dude that played for the Warriors, man? The one that shoots really good, the man. Three I've been locked up for the past twenty years. What's his name? Is he? <laughs> Did he play at movies or something? Like, how would I know him? No, nah, he's just been a lot like of a big stand-up stand-up. specials. He was in Peach movie. He was in King of Staten Island. Yeah, he, he was the guy that was smashing Peach mom. Amazing. Yeah, that's yeah, right. King of Staten Island. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot. So it's those three for you. No, there's the uh wait, wait, wait. Was that three? Mm-hmm. Four. Derek Posen. Derek Poston. Derek Poston. My guy Derek Poston. 100 okay. percent Derek's open. I mean, look, I'm biased, but I'm also in a position where like my bias, I I can try to create opportunities for these guys. Mm-hmm. So it's not I'm just like, oh yeah, here's some guys I think are good because they're on my team. Yeah. They're on my team because I think they're great. It's the other way. Mm-hmm. Peace, you know what I mean? Peace. But um, yeah, man, those five right there. Definitely. Mm. Who's that? That IG comic that he opened up for you one time? Big dude. Oh, like I, yes. Uh, Ryan Davis. Oh, yeah. oh Ryan's funny. Ryan funny. is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan's excellent, hilarious. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan, Ryan is so funny, What about man? the guy who got Donnell? What's his name? Oh, also, congrats to Donnell. Donnell shot a special, too. Dope. Y'all saw that? Uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah special, Charlotte, man. Charlotte. Yep, yeah yep yep yep, yep yo yep. bravo Donnell yo, he, man. Got, he got that, that who, he got that who's up that's kind of kind of close to that who's wax bro no it's not it's kind of close man Donnell I got to talk no, to you no it's not something. Donnell had that. Donnell been doing that for a while yo uh, you just, I told you, you that told already you told me that yeah you Donnell right. been doing who's that. up he does it every morning he gets he, on Instagram he be like who's up we up no who's up we up who sleep? They sleep. He ain't no fucking football coach. He been doing it every morning forever. Oh, like, yeah, but we, you know, now who's waxing? He got his own brand. That's what you have. He had a weed brand called Who's Up. Yeah, and I'm like, who's? No, no he whatever. been doing that. You he, think he, you he, own who? No, I need to think about that. <laughs> Don't tell him about the rock group. <laughs> Don't tell him about the band. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you who? You Two. who? Oh, yeah. Right. Who else is who? Yeah, we got a lot of the who's, bro, people, bro. But Donnell been doing that. He been doing that who's up thing for a while. No, I that, is, that is very so, true. You know, I kept getting tagged like, yo, Donnell is so nah, Stop me. listening to stupid people on social media. I was so happy when Don't social we media went down for six yeah. hours and I didn't even know. That was actually really good. Like though. somebody really texted me. wasn't that bad. Somebody like, texted me and was like, yo, social media is down just in I case you wanted to know. know. I'm like, why the fuck would I even know this? I didn't even know it was down the whole time. Don't I even promise. give a fuck. Like who I cares? Had so much fucking shit going on. I was like, damn, I thought I watched no so- social media that much. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that we need that. Like you saw the Facebook whistleblower who came out and was like, you know, how Facebook, which we already knew, doesn't care about anything but profits. They don't care about, you know, people's mental or emotional well-being. You believe I, in that shit? What? She's just getting propped up by all these Democratic PR companies that want to, like, uh, take down the monopolistic practices of these social media companies. But I don't need, I don't need her to be a prop to, to know what I know. Like, I, I've, been, I, I've been saying, yo, social media literally dictates people's emotions. Mm-hmm. It dictates how people feel. It dictates, it dictates how people think. We don't even realize it. But why Every, do you think it does that? It's like the right wing because stuff. Because of validate. No, no it, it, the, it's not about party. We got to stop that. It don't have nothing to do with political right party. right wing stuff exists on the internet because there's almost no place for it on regular TV. So of course it's going to succeed and thrive over there because all the other media corporations outside of Fox News are extremely left wing. What's so, that got to do with people's emotions and people seeking validation and people not even being able to think for themselves? If the TV, if TV news wasn't so blatantly biased, people wouldn't be searching for another type of news that that just You're talking the way about they one feel. aspect. I'm talking about the fact that people are literally influenced by things that they see on social media. For example, the fact that, and and by the way, the internet caused this, but the fact that people will commit a crime Mm -hmm. and the first thing they do is go on IG live with it. (laughs) Motherfuckers is literally getting murdered. Like literally, Mm -hmm. bah, 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 bah. Like why? This shit is not, it's not legal. Like why is your mindset to do that? 
I don't know. <laughs> but, 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 clout, but, man. But that's yeah, my point. Because you can get rich off that, of clout. That's now. my point. And, and Why go on a dating jail. show and like get married in front of a billion people? It's like because people need fucking clout. And we talk about filters, right? Everybody's mind is literally through the lens of social media. How mm. is this going to look on social? Yeah. What's the reaction I'm going to get on social? People don't even yeah. enjoy moments anymore. And when I say when I talk about feelings and emotions, people wake up every day, go to the timeline first. To even see what they th- what they should think about something, mm. their opinion literally comes from whatever the most popular opinion is on social media. Mm. That shit, y'all. I'm telling you, I, I I read a great book called Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. I read uh, the Social Dilemma, but just the way social media makes me feel, I know that shit ain't good for you. And I've been saying for years, mm. five years from now, ten years from now, in the future, mm. we're going to realize the impact social media had on the brain. Yeah, Fuck the ones. political party shit or religious shit. No, I'm just talking about in general. It's food. Looking down yeah. all the time. I, I think I think we it's are food, good bro. because we raised up without it, but the ones that's raised up in it, they're going to definitely be a different being. That's how I know when it's a problem. Yeah. The fact when I, when I see the people that were raised without it, like we talk about how the influence it has on kids. Mm. Think about the influence it has we on adults. We sync. We got hand-eye coordination. We got so much things Man. that we have right now. Right now, they ain't got shit. Bro, that shit ain't even normal. Like I, I always tell my daughter when we're out in public, just look around. Mm. Just, just simply look around. Mm. Every, like... That shit ain't normal that everybody's like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit is weird. The lady like, almost, just almost ran. So I'm sitting at the yeah. light. She just about to run into the truck. I was a little bit over the white lines. But she didn't give a fuck. As soon as the light was there, she was still down and just about to yeah. run right into the truck. I'm like, this lady, look the That's fuck up. That's my point. Even yesterday, social media is down for six hours. All of a sudden, you hear people saying like, I got so much done and y'all need to learn no, how to do things shit. without social media. It was six fucking hours. Yeah. And you know what y'all did for six hours? Complain about social, social media, media being down. Yeah. And when social media came back up, you know what y'all talked about? Social media being down. So where was all these business plans and shit that y'all created over the past six hours? All right, so you know like, what they should do? Off. They should do, they should, or you should do, just go to like around seven o'clock, turn all social media off. They should shut that shit down once a, once a week, every month. The Sabbath. Mm. Word up. That's like what I do is. Shut that shit down on, once on a week. Every Sunday I don't smoke. From 12 to 12 I don't smoke on Sundays mm. since 2001. Yo, Sundays. I promise you that shit will do wonders for society. It will. Shut it down once a week. Nah, I don't, Everybody. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you shut it down. I think you do the same thing that happened with food, right? Like fast food comes out and unhealthy food comes out and mm-hmm. we just started eating it and we didn't really realize how bad it was for us. Shit, we were smoking cigarettes and we didn't even know how bad it was That's for right. us. That's right. And then eventually the information comes out and be like, oh man, it's start causing all different types of fucking cancer and mm-hmm. the heart is about to explode. So then we start going, okay, we should give people information about the food so they know what they're eating. And then ideally they will eat less of it. But once you start telling people you're not allowed to do it, now you live in a totalitarian state. I think you just need to give the people the information. Go, yo, this hamburger got 3,000 calories, motherfucker. Your heart is going to explode if you eat this shit every but single day. But you know day. this is America. Some people are going to do it, but then most people won't. Yeah, there's warning yeah. shit. There's warning, so when they there's warning language a, on everything. Literally. Yeah, but when they start putting the calories on Cheesecake Factory, that fucked my whole shit up. Before Cheesecake Factory was amazing. <laughs> then I found out it's 3,000 calories. Louisiana, Louisiana chicken pasta. But then, then they tell you it. that you need 2,000 calories a day. So you'd be like, I'm going to get that I mean, Chick-fil-A one meal. meal. <laughs> I'm eating one meal today. <laughs> but I used to eat three. I guess what I'm oh, saying no, is man. give the people the information. Let them make their own decision. But don't just do this shit where you tell us what we can or can't do. I don't, I don't yeah. like that. Like, remember when they tried to outlaw big drinks? Remember Bloomberg was like, you can't have more than a liter of Coca-Cola. It's like, motherfucker, I'll do what I want. I'm a grown ass man. And, and by the taxes. way, that's the that's the problem. That's 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 a great scene in Squid Game. Don't it, tell me. All right. Never mind. <laughs> but, <laughs> Shit. But it talk re- about it next week. It really shows you how you can manipulate people to even forget what it is they're supposed to be really concerned about. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You remember the slap scene? Oh, yeah. What's up, Sam? No, 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 no. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I know, but God damn. Like this podcast and you're in it. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. But I'm just saying. So I didn't see, I didn't get the you watch got, it But, but I, I'll tell y'all in a minute. What's the, give, give us one more. But I do think social media is very, very, very dangerous. And I really don't think we've even scratched the it, surface. I got it, I got it. We haven't even scratched the surface yeah, of how dangerous, of it how is. dangerous I, that I shit is going to be. So, all right. Oh, and by the way, the book I'm talking about, Digital Minimalism, I read it a while ago, but they talk about in the book how um, there was a, a tobacco industry whistleblower. And then this was some years ago. There was a, a I forgot what, what app it was. I think it was Facebook whistleblower. And it was like, when you listen to their rhetoric, their rhetoric sounds exactly 
the same in regards of how they reel you in and keep you there. And it was like the tobacco industry was after your lungs. Social media is after your time and your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's facts. Get, the after the all right. Ernie Mac said, does Charlotte really believe he can send healing energy or does he watch too many Marvel movies? That's a funny one. <laughs> do I really? No, I, I, it doesn't matter whether I believe I can. I do. Ooh. Meaning, me, me, meaning like whatever you say about me, whatever issue you got with me, I'm going to send you healing energy. Because one thing I've learned through therapy, one thing I've learned through doing a lot of work on myself, a lot of motherfuckers just be hurting. And I didn't even really grasp the yeah. concept of uh, in the four agreements when it says um, don't take things personal because that which offends you creates the same negative energy that offended you in the first place. Uh -huh. and, and don't take things personal because a lot of what people do has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Mm -hmm. And it's the truth. I think about a lot of times when I projected hurt on people and pain on people because of shit that I was going through. Even when I see like this new generation of, of, of shop jocks or whatever that love to get at people and love to attack people, I'm like, oh, they hurting. Mm. They hurting Because you can only do that When you hurting yeah. You can only really Let me cut this person's head off And yeah. Yeah, not yeah. give a fuck About Never what they're going through or, or what they've been through or let them, Fuck the empathy of it Let me just cut their fucking head off Like mm. you gotta what be going You gotta be hurting yeah. to, to, to even move like that So Yo I send healing energy regardless You know what I mean And it's so funny when um People say things like Oh You know that don't work, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. It's like, speak for yourself. Look at my life, King. <laughs> like, look at my life. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I'm, you know, doing, yeah. I'm doing the best I've ever done in my life. You don't need advice from people doing worse than you. I, I can only tell you, man. I can, and, and listen, you, you should can, listen though. to somebody who did you it. can, though, because I, I got a great advice from a crackhead. Of course. Yeah. I listen to everybody because you never know who's going to be advice? that one person to tell you something to change your life. Go to college. Go to college? A crackhead yeah. told you to do that? Go to college and get out of get out of the streets. Okay. Signs Great come advice. from everywhere, yo. So yeah, send people healing energy. He's the man. only person that told you to do that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and your whole life. It's the person you listen to, though. A fucking crackhead is saying. the I, only I, person. That I don't know why it stuck with me so much, man. Because I, I had a lot of positive things around. Because you saw like what brother. happens if you don't do that. That's what yeah, it was. you go. So yeah, you yeah, also yeah. need the good and the bad. There's right. a balance in That's everything. Fair. That's the fear. Yeah, you need the fear of what could happen, man. Send everybody healing energy. I love that. I love sending people healing energy. I love when people pop shit about me, and it's like I don't even respond. I just pray for them. I send them healing energy when I'm at my altar. I send them healing energy. Oh, they want to fight now. They really want to fight now. Oh, they be yeah. so mad. They be so mad because what happens you is nothing back. You just but I, you know you just keep elevating. You just keep yeah. growing. You know what I mean? Because I'm not I'm not getting in the mud with you for what? Uh, mm. God bless you. And all that air still in them, and they want to release it, and they can't release it. They're gonna pop. Yeah. And, gonna and, and also too, <laughs> time tells all. Yeah. That's yeah. Time always tells the tale. Mm. That's why I don't be tripping. I don't trip about what happens a year ago, three years ago, five years ago. Yo, Nas said it once. Don't hate me now. He said, uh, "Much success to you, even if you wish me the opposite." Sooner or later, we'll all see who the prophet is. Woo mm -hmm. Jay Z Jones. was. Um, that's it for me. <laughs> <Just> shut <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I but also, hey, too, man. yeah, make sure to tune into the God's Honest Truth yes. every Friday night at 10 p.m. on Comedy yep. Central. This week we got a great episode. Uh, World Mental Health Day is um on Sunday. So this week is uh is titled Keep That Same Healing Energy. Ooh. You know what I mean? And Chico Bean and Icewear Vezo, man, we sent them to uh Inception, you know, the mental health gym in Farmington, Michigan. And, you know, that was, it's special. You know what I mean? I, I, I think it's special. So I can't wait for y'all to see it. Uh, and Dr. Rita Walker and Resma Minikin will be on um, this week as well. So Ooh, tune in to the God's Honest Truth this Friday at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central, screaming on Paramount Plus, okay? Yo, you, you think I'd be a punk if I go watch that? The rest of that Squid Games by myself. She already no. saw it. But she won, then if I go watch it by myself. No, why? She, she already saw it. Why are you going to make her watch it again? It's not fair. I don't want to watch it by myself. I ain't going to lie. What's wrong with that? Because we watched it all the way together, and then it's like, if I go watch it by myself, she won. Why? She already watched it. Guys, if you thought that we were brilliant this week. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to this podcast and you think, I don't even know what the fuck. If you listen to this podcast, oh, how does shit go? I don't know. 
I tried to do oh, that shit last week. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace. Peace.